it. Time to continue. Specifically to press continue, I suppose. Alright, let's get visual confirmation first. Very important. Okay, there is the audio. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's bring up the chat. Okay. Hey, Slave Night Gill. Okay, so put it on. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just wait a second or two. Hold on, let me check something. Um, okay. Okay, and the recording is running very nice. Okay, very good. Okay, so time to continue with where we left off in the previous stream yesterday. Which uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, been uh, it's been uh, uh, quite a play for already, <laughs> and not really for the best reasons, I suppose. I guess I'm just really rusty when I should be very frosty. Unfortunately, I'm more rusty in that sense. Okay, oh, hey, um, the chat is gone. Hey, hello. Okay, yes, that's better. Okay, let's uh, make it actually readable. Okay, very good. <laughs> A very good evening. Lekker alle spelen. Ja, lekker. Lekker spelen, jongen. How is Alexander doing? Alexander is doing perfectly fine. Alexander is doing perfectly fine. He even uh, uh, gave us this beautiful gift here. So, I don't know exactly where he is. He teleported off to New Game Plus, I guess. So, it's, uh, it's, it's all fine. It's all fine. Alexander is doing perfectly well. And Latana also, by the way. She gave us our lovely outfit. Oh, okay. Now I removed the jet. That's not good. <laughs> and we are now finally able to enter the capital. Also, <laughs> we finally had... <laughs> We had our, the, the dragon skill blade, but it actually kind of turns out that, for the most part, uh, the helmet is actually more effective. But at least this allows us to... Uh, uh, it, it, well, it, it doesn't allow us. It, it makes more sense to one hand this weapon than to one hand uh, the helmet. Uh, because we, of course, also need our seal for the frozen lightning spear. And speaking of which, given that we now have the ability to enter into uh, the capital... And enter to the capital. That means we have access to the, I believe it's called the Gravelstone Seal, which boosts Dragon Cult incantations by 15%. So that's actually quite significant. That's actually quite significant. Um, I don't know exactly how it is with scaling because, of course, uh, my uh, I only have 34 faith just to meet the stat requirements of the the Frozen Lightning Spear because that's quite. Which is quite high, I would say, for uh, for the incantation, but uh, it's what it is. Maybe it, once I get the opportunity to raise my faith a little higher, then uh, the damage output will increase by at least um, a reasonable margin. I don't know if that's the case. For the most part, your damage will come from upgrading the seal, because that also upgrades, of course, the amount of scaling you get from it. Of course, we also <laughs> realize that... We shouldn't uh, neglect uh, to, uh, you know, uh, level up Vigor. So, we now have to go through the capital the old-fashioned way. I guess because of uh, the P uh, being on PC, I got a little lazy with just fast traveling everywhere. So, hopefully I actually don't make <laughs> take a wrong turn. Well, it shouldn't be that complicated. Past the bubble buddy bros. If only they actually put bubble buddy from SpongeBob in the, to this game. Maybe modder, uh, mods, uh, people who make uh, mods uh, should uh, get on that. And have the actual bubble buddy from SpongeBob in the game. What more? <laughs> Vicar Vicar wants that. Yeah. I tend to uh, ignore it a little bit too much as well, because, hey, it's uh, it's supposed to be a challenge run, so, yeah, if you just tank your way for everything, isn't that kind of defeating the purpose? On the other hand, maybe I'm just making things harder on myself than necessary, especially since I should have upgraded my skill level a bit more, rather than, uh, well, I'm already not upgrading my weapons, so... Thus, 
Yeah, 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 Melina, blah, blah, blah. Melina is a very underutilized uh, character, unfortunately, in this uh, in this game. And uh, given that she literally has to sacrifice herself in order to uh, burn the Earth Tree, unless you do it yourself with the Frenzy Flame. Um, uh, how does this work again? Um, uh, I don't expect that she is going to play any sort of significant role or even a role at all. In the DLC. So, I don't know. I see some wasted pot potential there with Melina. Oh, holy crap, delicious. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> they definitely out-lightning me. Okay, maybe I should actually heal just to make sure they can't hit me again. Or if they do, that I will at least survive it. Rune arc, I also never uh, bothered to get a great rune, which I actually almost never do in any uh, playthrough. It's mostly what you do for, uh, you know, like a uh, level 1 run, where you get got a great rune so that you can wield specific things. Okay, let's... Let's just sneak away to the grace. So, uh, as far as I understand, the... Okay, let's just get to the grace first. <laughs> So, as far as I understand, there is a... Um, the Gravelstone Seal is actually dropped by basically a random enemy for some reason. Uh, yeah, I think that that knight over there, but the, uh, the annoying thing is that above, you can see that there is uh, actually also an archer. So, maybe I should first get rid of that archer somehow, but the problem is I don't know if yeah, I can even reach there. Uh, maybe if I... Eh, well, yeah. Okay, well, not like this. Okay, this... Uh, this is maybe not a very good thing. But maybe my frozen lightning spear can simply go through... The geometry here. Wow, he has a lot of health. Or he's literally just blocking my lightning or something. Okay, I'm... <laughs> eh, this kind of sucks. Well, wood doesn't... Conduct electricity, so yeah. Okay, this is not really working. But it's a very from software way to deal with an enemy, if you ask me. You know, hitting them through a wall. <laughs> I frames. <laughs> okay, quickly kill him. Hey, I, I, I said quickly kill him! Son of a biscuit. Hey, hello! Whoa! Qu kill him! Oh, I uh, actually also get his armor. Well, it's yellow, so normally it would actually be pretty... Uh, pretty uh, fitting for a lightning-themed run, but yeah. Our lightning, uh, you see, this is actually a pretty nice uh, armor if you... Uh, Use a lightning build. The problem is our lightning is blue, so that's not gonna cut it. So he even respawns. Yeah, okay. Well, it's basically just a regular enemy. Uh, he did have a lot of health, but then again, this guy also has a lot of health. So maybe this is just the location in the game where you start to feel weak <laughs> when you're not upgrading your weapon. Oh, 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 oh. Also, as I said, I think the Halberd is just a little bit better than the Katana, which is weird, but I guess Katanas without bleed just don't function the same way. Um, okay, so at least I have the, the seal now, so that's very good. How was the end yesterday? Well, uh, we at least uh, <laughs> we managed to deal with um, Estelle and the... Uh, uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel, and I did get uh, I did get the opportunity to have at least some probably nice looking footage for the for the intro song, where where I and the Draconic Tree Sentinel use our lightning at the same time. Okay, but now we have our new seal, and it only requires 18 faith, so that's just at least good. That's a C scaling in faith. But regardless, that doesn't really matter that much, I think. Incant scaling is the, exactly the same. 
But it's most, uh, what mostly matters is that it uh, gives us uh, a 15% extra damage boost just from the fact that it's a Dragon Cult incantation. So that's very good at least. Uh, I'm not even close to a new level. And yeah, it's probably not enough either. But at least we can immediately go and try out our new seal on Gold Free. Maybe it would be fun to actually uh, focus on using Frozen Lightning Spear for that fight, given that we have to fight Godfrey twice anyway, and Goldfrey is just the simplest part of his moveset. <laughs> but he will probably be very annoying to uh, fight with Frozen Lightning Spear, since that's a rather, uh, a rather slow attack. Oh, by the way, there's also a Golden Seed here. Um, okay, well, I am using... I don't have... Yeah, the problem is the the, uh, the talisman that boosts uh, incantations. Well, the one is only 4%, but the one that uh, boosts it by 8% that's at the end of uh, what... Or halfway through Millicent's questline. So that kind of sucks. Of course, Goldfree, being a spirit, is not affected by Frostbite, obviously. However, for some reason, I don't know if that's an oversight or whether that's intentional, but sleep does work on gold free. Which sounds a little bit like it's more likely to be an oversight, but... Not that it's useful, of course, because that little stagger animation that you get from sleep, as I mentioned yesterday as well, is not really that useful, and in my opinion, it should have simply given you an instant critical attack opportunity. But they didn't choose to go that route. It's, <laughs> it's the slippiest lore. Okay. Hey, hello, you're not supposed to follow me in here. Hey. Son of a biscuit. Hey, hello. Hey, what the fuck? And I didn't activate the stake of Mary. I. But that. 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 <laughs> but that's fucking bullshit. They were literally following me uh, inside the boss arena. That's not allowed. Enemies are supposed to move away from where the fork wall is supposed to be. Son of a bitch. And now, of course, yeah, the stake of America didn't activate. Oh. Ah, at least now I can get an extra flask. Son of a biscuit. Well, it's a nice way to start the, the playthrough. Uh, today. I mean, yesterday was also uh, <laughs> quite a hassle. Uh, by the way, actually, now, now I'm here anyway, I also, damn it, I don't have a grace nearby, because I wanted to go to, uh, go and collect uh, Golden Vow. Fuck, but it's so far away. And from here, I don't think you can even get there, or is there a spring nearby? Let's take a look. If you simply go north here, I think you'll uh, encounter a spring at some point. I mean, we do have enough faith for uh, Golden Vow, so we might as well uh, use it. Oh, holy crap, I'm going to die if I fall down here. <laughs> or I'm going to get lasered to death by the <laughs> skeleton there. To be a mariner uh, summoning Wolnir. Uh, okay, this. Hey, wait, maybe I can actually go down here? Uh, okay, this feels very risky. Ah, but <laughs> I didn't even fall down on the ground! Son of a bitch! Okay, that didn't work out. It looked like it could work out, but apparently not. Uh. So, we uh, started the stream but with uh, two very, uh, let's say, interesting ways to die. Okay, let's just simply go down. Well, then again, I should have simply gone to the other grace. <laughs> oh, boy. It's just one of those days already. Or still... Oh, 
Damn it, why is there no easy way to simply get to the volcano over there? Yeah, I don't have any of the graces nearby there. Son of a bitch. Also, that means that I also didn't get the golden seed near the volcano, uh, near volcano matter. Well, I did get this one at least. I'm pretty sure there's a spring uh, here because uh, this is where you get to the cave where you normally get like I think the the five or the six sumber uh, smithing stone. And there we have the uh, random <laughs> random headless horseman. Yeah, you see, there's a spring. Hey, hello. Didn't have any stamina. Okay. Now we're on the right track. I mean, the incantation version of Golden Vow is like double the amount of... Uh, the Ash of War version, I think. I'm not even sure. But it's uh, at least a uh, significant enough difference, so... Might as well pick it up. Yeah, let these guys just duke it out among themselves. No reason for me to get involved. Isn't that uh, is uh, also not somewhere in this location where there is one of those Iron Maiden <coughs> type enemies that uh, with a missing hat or something and just randomly moving around? A bit of a weird, obscure enemy. Oh fuck! This is where Anastasia, I believe, invades you. Ah, doesn't matter. We have Golden Vow, so that's good. Sorry Anastasia, I'll uh, I'm taking the easy way out. Alright. At least now we have some better defenses. Okay, back to the capital then. Okay, now let's make sure I'm ready before actually entering the <laughs> the boss arena. <laughs> Given that those fuckers just follow me uh, anyway. Uh, five cerulean flask. That should be fine. I'm pretty sure that two handing your seal doesn't make a difference. But that does apply, I think, to the claw mark seal. Because that's uh, a seal that scales with uh, strength. Hey Titanic, how you doing? And hey Tyson, how are you doing? So, let's see if uh, Frozen Lightning Spear is even effective at all on Gold 3, given that he can be frostbitten anyway. But, we'll find out soon enough. Let's, uh, let's see how that works out. Of course, another problem is... Uh, mention oh, wait. Hold on, that may might work. Uh, it's slow. Uh, could be worse. But actually moving away from him when he does the his stomp attack. That might work. It's a very different way of fighting Golfrey, but... He doesn't really have a ranged attack, other than, of course, the, uh, the axe throw that he can do. Yeah, you see, he doesn't really have any way to defend from attacks from a distance. Other than just closing the distance. 
Uh, of course, he does have quite a bit. Oh, oh, that went over my head. <laughs> that did not. And it goes in the wrong direction. Yeah, this uh, this spell does have a bit of a weird tracking. Basically, if you do it after a roll, for example, then just the direction you're facing when you press the L1 button, that's the direction your attack will go into. Ooh, I shouldn't have spam roll there. Believe it or not, remember uh, the, when I did the Scarlet Aeonia run? Goldfree was one of the harder fights in that uh, playthrough. Which you wouldn't expect, but yeah. He is immune to Scarlet Rot and... When you are completely vulnerable... Well, because that was the pre-patch version of the Scarlet Aeonia, remember? Then basically you're completely fucked. <laughs> I had to resort to some very RNG heavy tactics just to make it through uh, through that fight. Oh, whoa, fuck. Hey, he knocked me out of it. Okay, let's not fuck up here. Okay, quickly, just finish it. Alright. That wasn't that big of a deal, but that says more about... Goldfree just being a pretty straightforward fight, but yeah, <laughs> when I said uh, what I said before with Scarlet Ionia, that was a uh, Goldfree was suddenly a very unexpected obstacle. Hey, Jake Elites, how you doing? Not gonna lie, I've uh, I have missed these Prescontier streams. Great to see you back, mate. This looks like a chilled run. Well, <laughs> I I wish I could say it was very chill, but yesterday I was uh, dying like uh, uh, like a fucker of the mother variety. But that says more about me than about the playthrough idea, I suppose. I'm just extremely rusty when I should be frosty. I don't know what that's all about, but... Um, oh, you can't see uh, how much damage you add with raising faith, you know, for your incantation. That kind of sucks. Well, I should focus on mind and vigor first anyway. Uh, I do already have the strength and dex requirements for both weapons, so that's good. And, of course, now we have... Um, uh, we have another talisman slot. Uh, but I'm thinking, what is the best talisman slot to use for this one? Uh, yeah, Ritual Sword is always good, but then, of course, the moment you take damage, then that's no longer worth it. Yeah, the Incantation one would be good, but that's uh, that requires Millicent's questline, so that kind of sucks. Or I think you have to uh, defeat Command... Yeah, that's part of Millicent's questline. You know, Commander O'Neill. I'm not going to do that. Hmm, what would be a good talisman? Yeah. 22 with <laughs> big hand in the cavalry. Is that really that low? I guess I'm just uh, too used to level 1 runs or something. Of course, having said that, then you would expect me to just be able to play a little better, but yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, it is actually... If I want more defense, then actually there's a good uh, thing uh, to pick up here. That's the ritual... Shield Talisman. That's actually a pretty good one. Reduces casting speed. Hmm. Well, the thing is with Radicons, I That's a good... Wait, you know what? Let's, uh, uh, let's quickly go to the Academy and let's see if that actually is worthwhile. Because, for example, when I did the, the Moon Run all the way back in the day and the, and the Rain uh, Only Run... Uh, we noticed that the casting speed increase has more to do with like repeated projectiles and that kind of stuff, and it doesn't really uh, reduce the starting animation of an uh, of an incantation. But hey, let's just uh, quickly pick it up and uh, let's see if it uh, does anything whatsoever. I don't know. Since then, of course, the game has gone through so many patches. So who knows? If that talisman has been changed, I don't know anything about that, so... It's easy to pick up, so we might as well do it. <laughs> I was going to say, yay, press the streaming again, but then I remember you like pineapple on pizza. <sighs> Mrs. Leeds, 
pineapple on pizza is uh, one of the most standard things you can put on a pizza. I mean, I know you're Italian, but <laughs> still, a Hawaiian pizza, that's just that's a standard thing. You have like pizza margarita, like a, a spicy pizza. Uh, uh, what do you have? Like a, a pizza al tonno or whatever it is. Those are just all standard things. And Pizza Hawaii, that's just a very normal pizza. Why is everyone always like, oh, so weird to have pineapple on pizza? It's so standard. It's so standard. Oh, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Okay, let's see what the difference is in casting speed. Uh, okay. Do you guys notice a difference? Because I don't. <laughs> I don't think that's uh, worthwhile. I don't think that's worthwhile at all. Okay, so no. Radigan's icon is no uh, is not gonna help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sound of a heartbreaking. So, uh, Hawaiian pizza is not something that uh, that you can find in Italy itself. Pineapple is just yuck. That's not true. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand the controversy, I guess. Oh, by the way, I didn't even u equip or well, and therefore not use Golden Vow, by the way. But <laughs> that's pretty standard for me to go and acquire something and then not use it. Um, so, the Ritual Shield Talisman would actually be a pretty good one to go and acquire. Just for defense. Uh, okay, it's the wrong uh, location. This one. I make them every day? You make a Hawaiian pizza every single day. Yeah. Slightly skeptical, but f fair enough. Oh, you oh, you work at a pizzeria. Okay, now I get it. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> the only pizza is margar margarita. That's like the base of a pizza. Um, I believe it's just right in front of the door here, right? I actually wanted to say, maybe in the DLCs they will actually include the Colosseums, but they already did that. Well, I never play PvP, of course, so it doesn't really apply to me. By the way, I talked yesterday about disappointing weapons. This is another example. When these guys use these hammers, they have those cool chains. Like, this is a very interesting uh, dual, wield, uh, dual wielding uh, moveset, you know, with the chains. But we can't use that as a player. We can get those hammers and then they are basically just underwhelming uh, underwhelming for great hammers because they basically have no reach whatsoever. So why not simply give us the version that has the chains? Missed opportunity from software. Missed opportunity. I don't like it. I think it's a shame. Hey, Morpheist. How are you doing? Sucks, I cannot open up the map, so I can fast travel. Well, at least the grace is uh, close by. Yep. Wrong direction. Okay. Um, I can't really think of a better talisman. At least this gives us a nice defense boost. This is good for our weapon arts. This is very good for our weapon arts, of course. And this is good for our lightning uh, damage. Because that's what we're doing with all three weapons. Um, and you can't boost Frostbite, of course, in any way. Yeah, the difference is quite significant when it's active. Uh, okay, so let's uh, go towards Morgoth then, I think. I don't think there's anything left specifically to do in early game. I mean, we did the entirety of Rani's questline already, after all. 
And we have every weapon that we need. <laughs> I should do a poll whether uh, pineapple belongs on pizza. Perhaps, but... Uh, I think the results are going to uh, be that most people say no. No pineapple on pizza. I don't know. Maybe it's just some sort of meme that I don't get. Because I have a hard time believing that people are actually serious about that. Maybe you can actually cheese the... Black Knife Assassin from here. Cold sparkly cheese, I suppose. Well, to, to be honest, you would be able to cook with electricity, right? And I mean, don't mean like cook on electricity. I mean literally with electricity. Should be possible. Of course, it would still be cold with this ice lightning. So I guess that... Kind of defeats the entire purpose, but yeah. Alright. Um, actually, ice lighting will be uh, advantage advantageous. Jesus, what a word. Advantageous. It will be beneficial <laughs> against Morgoth uh, for doing certain attacks um, where it's better to attack from distance. Yeah, you cook with electricity. Pineapple, but I, that's not what I mean. I mean literally with the electricity itself. Not like an electric... Uh, I want to say furnace. That's not the right English word. In Dutch it's for nice. The stove. Oh no, it's not a meme. People are serious about that. I don't get it. I don't get that. How is that possible? Does Rachel sort... Uh, yeah, it does, uh, Shadow Fox. So that also would be good, but of course that only it's yeah it's only applicable when uh, at full health and yeah. In that sense, I guess uh, battle defense is better than battle offense. So then again, of course, the entire premise of the playthrough is that I can't upgrade my weapons, so damage is going to drop off pretty hard after Morgoth. Oh, but shit! But I'm also using the shield tier, and that doesn't combine well at all. That kind of completely defeats the purpose. Well, after our first heal, of course, then it becomes... Mm. Or is there a better tier I can use than the bubble tier? I, I, well, this is, of course, helpful. That could work. Or... Yeah, I'm still... I'm still messed up in the head because of this one, that weird Mandela effect. I could have sworn that the the one that uh, boosts your stamina regen can be found along the way towards the Conic Tree Sentinel, but it's actually in Kaled from one of those Earth Tree avatars there. I, I still can't I still can't get uh, wrap my hand around that. I could have sworn it was there along the way to the Conic Tree Sentinel, but it isn't. Regen to maintain Ritual Sword, yeah, that's also good. But, of course, the Ritual Shield Talisman is the defense version of the Sword one. That's why Shield, I mean, it's pretty obvious, I would say. Oh, and now I forgot something. <laughs> I keep moving back and forth here. Let's actually equip Golden Vow. I mean, I know it's very press continue like to go and uh, collect something and not use it, but let's be a little uh, out of character and actually use something that's beneficial. It does cost quite a bit of FP, uh, unfortunately. Hey, press, I'm watching Italian volleyball right now. Uh, Babsa, are you also watching Italian volleyball at the moment? <laughs> Then again, who the hell watches vo volleyball? Well, whatever. <laughs> Press, what came first, chicken or the egg? Well, it depends on what, uh, if you mean, uh, uh, if you just mean it uh, literally as, as written, then eggs existed way before chickens ex uh, existed. But of course, then you're not talking about chicken eggs. If you mean what came first, the chicken or the egg, the chicken or the chicken egg, well, 
The thing is that uh, the way you know what? Let's not talk about bi biology. But the, the, the thing is, the, it's actually a malformed question because there is no such thing as a first animal in a species. We're honest, but that we're not uh, we're not here for biology. We're not here for biology. Okay, let's just uh, go and fight Morgoth. But it's actually a more interesting question than you might think. <laughs> So it's not actually, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's meant to be a paradox, but once you understand how species work, how evolution works, they understand that there never has been a first member of a species, because that's not how species work. Hey, Melinda! Melinda, you gotta see her. You're not watching anything else but you're saying. Hey, that's the only correct answer, uh, Mrs. Leeds. Yeah, you know what? Fuck the cutscene. Let's just, uh. Let's immediately. Oh, whoa, that's. Uh, I was like, maybe I can immediately spam my uh, lightning before he even attacks, but. I don't think Morgan agreed with that. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that the Radicans, uh icon doesn't do anything for the casting animation because... Oh, that missed? Son of a biscuit. Because the... It's a rather slow attack after all. Okay, there goes the Frostbite, very good. Uh, maybe I can squeeze this in, but I'm not sure. Whoa. I'm not sure, did that e uh, miss again? I didn't pay close enough attention to his uh, health bar. Ow, Ooh, shit. Oh. Also, don't spam roll against Morgoth with his delayed attacks. That's not smart. He always does that hammer attack after that, so that's good. Okay, good. Also, now there's water in the arena, so that should lower his lightning defenses. I don't know if this actually counts as water in that sense, but... Can I do this in time? Okay. Ah, that's basically just luck. Okay, just pure gamble, but... I mean, it would make sense if this actually counts as water, but... Can't really tell. Oh, there's a way to find out. Hold on. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, fuck. No, don't spam... I don't... I literally said it before. You don't spam roll against Morgan because he has delayed attacks. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was really dumb. Hey, uh, Morpheus, member for 26 months already. Wow, I never have anything to say with this thing. That's basically how I feel uh, about streaming itself, but... <laughs> so, but uh, thank you for extending your membership, Morpheus. My longest still active subscriber also. And of course, one of my moderators. Okay, yeah, that was uh, really dumb. I definitely should have been able to just... Go through that fight. Very easily, because as you see, uh, Frozen Lightning Spear, it's a bit risky, but it is actually quite effective. But you know, since I died, let's see how effective the Dragon Blade is compared to Frozen Lightning Spear. Uh, which damage type does do the puddles that he creates uh, do? That's actually a good question, because I'm not sure. I assume it's holy damage, but that's an assumption. It could also just be physical. Yeah, it's definitely less effective, but... The thing is, the way I always fight Morgoth is very passively, so when it comes to building up Frostbite... That's not the most effective way to do it. It is... A pretty effective way of fighting him, I think. But not for status effects. 
So because the way I always do is in the first phase I simply wait for him to do the spear attack. Because he will, in the first phase at least, always do that jump. And that leaves him completely open. Oh. But I'm doing so little damage that he's not good yet doing his uh, sort of damage class attack. Now he is. Okay, now I have to quickly get away. So, but the thing is now, when he does the, sp uh, the spear throw, he usually follows up with a spear charge attack. So you can roll through it, hit the still, he does the hammer, you do a jump attack, and now you have to watch out for how he follows up, and then you can move away again. So basically this way you can simply wait for very specific attacks and you don't have to deal with the rest of his moveset. Which was very effective to learn its very, this fight very quickly on RL1 back in the day when the game first came out. Because in principle Morgoth has a very complicated moveset after all. But if you do it like that, it's a very easy way of learning how to deal with it. But of course, a passive playstyle like that is not very effective when building up status effects. But if you've never done an uh, R01 playthrough, for example, then that is definitely a good way to deal with Morgoth if you don't know how to deal with him. Oh, whoa. I have to watch out for the swords. Elden Ring, no grace runs, they are sort of possible. Uh, you, uh, first of all, they are possible with glitches, but I don't think that's how you mean it. But uh, you can do it with just with, you know, minimal graces. Just like in Dark Souls 3, you, I think you have in Dark Souls 3 you have to use a bonfire three times in the entire play for something. I mean, don't... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was not good. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's something like that. Okay, let's just buff my sword. Swords of Revealing Light. I actually never referred to it like that, but it's actually a pretty good... Pretty good one. And for that attack, you definitely need to run away the moment he does it. Because if you roll, then depending on how he dashes towards you, he can roll catch you. Oh, you can definitely notice the difference when the buff is active and when the buff is not active. I mean, that's the power of a flat damage bonus. Alright. There he goes. Morgoth, the Omen King, fell. Why is he called Market the Fell first and Morgoth the... Uh, I don't know. I don't really understand the exact lore uh, reasons about uh, behind that. Because lore-wise, is it, is it the idea that he is presenting himself as two separate people? Or does he have two separate titles? 
I actually don't really know uh, the lore about it. I mean, it's clearly the same person. That's uh, that's obvious. But what the actual lore reasons behind him uh, behind him presenting himself as Market first and then as Morgan later, I don't actually know exactly. All right. <laughs> it's actually Alexander in disguise. Well, in that case, we should thank him for the for the warrior shard by sitting on his face. I mean, it's normal to sit on the pot every day. Ha! Ah, always nice, always nice. The lore is Morgoth thinks everyone else is stupid and <laughs> would figure it out. He's like Superman putting on uh, putting glasses on to become Clark Kent. Now that's Baron. You should become a lore channel. I mean, we. Uh, I mean, uh, Vadi and, uh, and Zuli and, su and such are not enough. We need you, your help as well, your input as well, Baron. You give the best lore. That's obvious. And <laughs> that's what Alexander teleported to. What, underneath my ass? Well, there are worse, place to, uh, worse places to teleport to, if you ask me. Unfortunately, now uh, we're going into the second half of the game, our damage output is going to drop off significantly. So, that's gonna be nice. At least we have some more runes now. <laughs> Yo, hey! He's on a Ronnie's ass! Now we know what Ronnie was sitting on. Now we have solved the mystery. Hey, if I could teleport, I would also teleport underneath Rani's ass. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, uh, Melana here, that's all fine. So now we're heading into the second part of the game. Uh, okay, how many, how many levels do we get here? Twenty-four, twenty-four. Sounds pretty good. Fire Giant will be a blast, yeah. I think so too. Damn it, we have to go all the way, uh, the old school uh, way. As I said, what you get spoiled once you play it on PC and then with Cheat Engine you can just unlock all graces and you can just very quickly teleport throughout the game. It's definitely, uh, definitely a lot more convenient. <laughs> now to destroy the Sprookies Boom. <laughs> It sounds like something from the after from the afterling. Of course, uh, nobody outside uh, outside of this country even knows what the afterling is, I suppose, which is a shame because it's a magical place. I'm playing Monster on the World, and I need uh, Dodo. Dodogama still for an insect I'm trying to get, and I don't want to hurt them, but I have no choice. Ooh, which uh, which enemy was Dodogama, or whatever you pronounce it, Dodogama? It's been so long since I played Monster of the World, that it was one of the first series on my channel. Falafel. <laughs> Efteling is awesome, I went there loads as a kid. Jake Elite, you know what the Efteling is. Wow. You are raised the correct way, even if you're, even though you're raised in a different country. Beautifully. So they, <laughs> you know how that enemy uh, uh, before Gold Goldfree actually followed me into the boss. Oh, now he does. Okay, I was just I was just trying to make the comparison that apparently the enemies are designed to not follow you onto the elevator, but. Forget about it. It's from software. It's from software. Wait, you left? Oh, whoa. <laughs> it truly is from software. Ah, oh, thank you, Miyazaki. I appreciate it. You know what? Can I throw him off? Come on, uh, ragdoll physics. Yeah. The ragdoll physics don't want to play along. Lucky bastard. Once more, thank you, Miyazaki. You, you, so, but Jake Elise, you actually lived in the Netherlands for five years when you was a kid? Wow. 
As I said before, you were raised the right way. Beautiful. Oh, that might also be helpful against Fire Giant, maybe. Jake, <laughs> my condolences. Shut up, Baron. I mean, you're both from the from uh, from England, so come on. Is that such a great place to live with all the tea and all the rain and the crumpets? What the hell even is a crumpet or a scone with clotted cream? <laughs> no, <laughs> Netherlands is not where Peter Pan lives. Uh, close enough. Close enough. <laughs> we get to play Bloodborne every day. Okay, that's actually a good point. That's a good point. Including the Eldritch Horrors, by the way. Including the Eldritch Horrors. I don't know. It, 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 uh, I, I'm not sure if I've ever even been to England, but it sounds about right that there would be Eldritch Horrors there. Also, which country was Lovecraft from? Was he British or was he American? <laughs> Brightus is my neighbor. <laughs> Lovely neighbor. But Motorfeast, you are or or originally English? Yeah, I, uh, I'm thinking, have I ever been to England? I, I'm not completely sure, actually. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe when I was younger. Have I ever been to England? Oh, Motorfeast, you actually live in England? I didn't even know that. What the hell are you doing there? Don't you know how many Eldritch Horrors they have there? I mean, I just found it out, but I assumed you already knew. I think it's time for you to leave then, uh, Motorfeast. Or are you there because of your girlfriend? Well, in that case, you definitely should leave because that keeps you away from the streams and we can't have that. As I said yesterday, you're not supposed to have a life or aspirations or be a productive member of society. That's not how we do things over here. <laughs> I saw Rom down the street. No, that's Australia. That's Australia, and then you find him in your bathtub or something. Yeah, for that reason alone, uh, Australia is not a place where I would wa ever want to go to. By the way, I have some purple runes and I have quite a bit of runes left still. Ah, 20,000. I don't think I have 20,000 runes. No. Yeah, what's a life? Yeah, I... Uh, as a challenge one, you shouldn't have a life because you're getting killed constantly. And you can't truly kill that which has no life. <laughs> I like to imagine homeless people running around and yelling, Grant us eyes. Maybe cream, ice cream. But I don't think that homeless people would necessarily say that. Well, speaking of ice and lightning, of course, that's the theme of the run. But now we're getting into the icy area. And afterwards to the lightning area, but there's never an ice lightning area. Ice lightning is very underutilized in this game. I think they should rectify that a bit in the in the DLC. Have some more ice lightning uh, weapons and spells or whatever. Just any kind of thing. Make an ice lightning throwing pot for, uh, for all I care. Maybe that will actually get uh, backlogs to uh, play uh, the game finally. Would make sense to assume that ice is a synonym for math, as Breaking Bad taught me. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I don't think you should say that uh, too hard out loud, you know, since YouTube is listening. Uh, unfortunately, I have so much distance to traverse here. 
As I said, I'm uh, I'm uh, spoiled because of the PC version. A <laughs> new concept, Bloodborne in Berlin. Oh boy, don't give From Software any ideas. Then the next Souls game will be German Souls. <laughs> Which is ironic because Germans don't have Souls. So. <laughs> YouTube has like 99 insight. They can see everything. They can see things that they are not supposed to see, unfortunately. Well, at least I don't have to gather any upgrade materials. That's something. Ah, fuck. Another thing that... Uh, I have to do because I can't fast travel. Is the, if I want to get to Melania, I need to get uh, uh, past uh, Commander uh, Niall. My favorite fight in the game. That I know as the back of my own hand. So that's gonna be fun. There is a golden seat along the way, at least so that's something. But what is a downside is that I almost never... I, I don't think I've ever done a run in which I... Act, well, that's not true, but... I'm not sure how many runs I've done... Where I actually got a plus 12 flask at the end of the run. You know, to get all, uh, getting all the sacred tears. Because I always forget where every single sacred tear is. I mean, you can visit all the churches, but then you still don't have 12, I think. Oh, by the way, there's actually a grace here. You lost 500k runes to Niall. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's true, he's also using frost and lightning. But he's not using frost lightning. Yeah, that's, a, that's another missed opportunity. It's another missed opportunity. He uses frost and lightning, so why not simply give him ice lightning? I mean, I understand that lore-wise that uh, ice lightning is uh, is uh, linked to uh, the Dragon King soldiers, but they also have that stupid Adan Thief of Fire to have the Flame of the Felgoth early on in the game. I mean, you can always make up something that, like, like Commander Nial was uh, fighting the Dragon King and stole their frost lightning or whatever the hell it is you can always make something up that's also why i don't buy the whole nonsense of like well there's no stake of america in uh, uh near a plus pseudosex or near ranala because of lore reasons like <laughs> you really cannot come up with anything to make it work like a stake of ranala a stake of uh far missoula i mean it's pretty easily uh the easy uh, problem to solve if you ask me but yeah <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm surprised that Flame of the Falcon doesn't come from the Fire Giant Remembrance. That would make more sense. It does make more sense. But I think they literally just invented an NPC just to to uh, get, make a, a reference to the Felgoth early on in the game or something. I mean, it's not. A, uh, it doesn't seem to be like a very well thought through, deep lore important character. Uh, Adan, Thief of Fire. Well, it's also why there are fire monks in uh, Leonia, by the way, because they are chasing uh, Adan, apparently. So why he is already imprisoned in uh, Avergil, I have no clue, but... The lore is a bit vague, of course, in all of these games, but... I think actually, uh, in some ways, uh, Elder Ring has the vaguest lore, or the most gaps in the lore. And who knows how many gaps in those in the lore are going to be filled by the DLC, and how many more are going to be created? <laughs> because I think the latter is more uh, likely. Oh, that's also something for the DLC: make an ice lightning dragon. Well, again, of course, the dragon gets sold is already something like that, but and it's not like the game needs any more of those dragons, but. I don't know, I guess just the point I wanted to make is put more ice lightning sources in uh, in the DLC. <laughs> the DLC is going to raise more questions, very likely. 
Elden Ring seems very rushed. Well, you don't think it's... I don't think it's rushed because they, it, uh, they did spend a lot of time on it, of course. But I think it's just... To, uh, maybe this game was just a little too big for from software to handle. That's also why they had to repeat so uh, so many enemies and that kind of stuff. Maybe they they were a little over ambitious with uh, with uh, the open world. Perhaps they still did a good job, of course. But in a way, I think making the world a little smaller. Might have worked out for the best. But who knows. Uh, the thing is that uh, Miyazaki said that the DLC was going to be the size of Limgrave. And I think that's unlikely. Or, or maybe they will actually make the DLC map very, very dense. Called, uh, contrary to... Uh, the main game. Because of course this entire area is very large. But it's not like there's so much to do in this area. So you, you could of course make the DLC the size of Limgrave. And then just make the content just packed together. But I think he's just underselling it. Uh, underselling it because I believe he actually had done that before. So Sounds about right. <laughs> and here I am uh, hoping that From Software is going to drop Sekiro too soon. Uh, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Yeah, exactly. Miyazaki also said that the main game was supposed to be around 30 hours. Um, personal experience and the experience of other people would uh, kind of slightly go against that. So yeah, I think he's just underselling it. Probably intentionally. I'm still wondering how FromSoft is going to escalate the Souls from, uh, format from here. Yeah, that's something I worried, uh, I'm uh, wondered about as well. As I said before, they definitely, definitely, definitely should not make another Souls game in a medieval fantasy setting because it's just uh, that's it's bound to get old. I mean, Demon Souls and the Dark Souls trilogy and Elden Ring all have been in a similar type of world. Bloodborne stands out because it's not in that kind of world. I definitely think they should put it in uh, the next Souls game in a very different type of setting. And make sure it's a type of setting that allows for a bit of an evolution to the combat. Otherwise, it's also going to get somewhat still. Because the Elden Ring feels like the accumulation of everything that they learned from the previous games. And then just basically they... It's like... It's basically like a sort of amalgamation of all the previous titles into one. So, if they want to evolve from this, they need to make something something about the combat that that allows it to be to stand out from the previous titles. And I don't know exactly what that would be, unfortunately. So, they do have a difficult task. <laughs> they do have a difficult task to uh, to surpass their previous titles in that sense. <laughs> Souls Party game like Mario Party. <laughs> Not completely sure if that's the best idea, but it sounds interesting ish. <laughs> Souls like cozy farm management sim. Yeah, why not? Why not? Cyberpunk Souls, yeah. Uh, I yes, I have Sunny, but that was before I had my channel. So I know I've not don't have a video on it. Wait, I, I think I can uh, avoid Okina if I simply go around here, and then I can get the sacred tier. Well, I think he's still going to invade, by the way. But I think you can sort of avoid him. <laughs> Dark Souls Netherlands edition. Why, where you fight with a wooden shoe or something? 
And instead of ashes, you have Brook Whoa, what, what the hell was with the frame drops? What the hell? Oh, that's weird. This is PS5, and I'm getting massive frame drops. What the hell is this? Look at this. What the hell is going on here? This is PS5. This is not PC. That's weird. How the hell does that happen? Ah! Okay, now it's normal again. <laughs> Instead of bonfires, you have windmills, yeah. That was weird. I don't know what exactly happened there, but... Ah. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but yeah, it's gone already, so... Very peculiar. So, if I go around again, I don't have to worry about Okina. <laughs> that's his name, right? Okina? I think that's this. The Rivers of Blood uh, spammer. You know, to give the PvP experience. Well, if they should make a sequel to one of their previous titles, then it definitely should be Bloodborne. That's a, that's a, that's a given. But yeah, Pirate Souls <laughs> could be maybe uh, something. Set it in ancient Egypt. That would be interesting. You could have futuristic. You could have like sci-fi souls in space. Post-apocalyptic uh, souls maybe. Prehistoric souls. Uh, that, I, I know, that's a bit limited I think. Ah, Sekiro too, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yes, sword fighting in a world where faster than light uh, travel exists. Tasteful dis uh, dissonance. Uh, you can make it work. Uh, okay, I kind of lost my way here. Okay, I think we're going to switch to the halberd because it's definitely the better of the two weapons, if you ask me. Well, the f uh, weirdly enough, the fire giant can be frostbitten, even though he's literally in a world of ice here. And he has fire within him. But he is quite resistant to it. So it's not even that effective. So I will probably have to rely mostly on my helmet here. <laughs> Star Wars be like. Yeah, at least sword fights. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's what Star Wars is. Sword fights when faster than light uh, travel exists. Star Wars Souls. Well, actually, that kind of already exists. Yeah, exactly. Jedi Fallen Order. That's uh, basically... Uh, Star Wars with a sort of Sekiro type uh, style. <laughs> Maybe World War II souls. Hey, I just said German souls, so hey. There's your inspiration. By the way, for, before I do Fire Giant, am I forgetting something? Very likely. First of all, I didn't pick up uh, the map fragment apparently. Is there something else I still need to do? Of course, I eventually want to include Melania, probably, but I think we'll simply have to go past Fire Giant and into Farmazula and it's save Mel Melania for last, of course. Then again, we still have Commander Neil and Loretta. Now we'll just have to take on the Fire Giant, I suppose. First, let's check Frozen Lightning Spear. Okay, that was not that great. Also, didn't hit fully. Okay, let's check the weapon art. Okay, there's a battle then. <laughs> That's definitely better. Oh. The only downside of the weapon art is uh, the weapon art is, is pretty good, but it doesn't do as much poise damage as you would expect. 
So poise breaks, as we noticed in the previous part, are relatively rare because, of course, the charge the two attack of the hell, but it's also not really the best way to do poise breaks. Oh, whoa, fuck. He still hit me. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Still in the fire. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to use Golden Vow. Okay, got some frostbite there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I got very lucky there. <laughs> I'm literally inside of his shield, basically. Uh oh, whoa! Not good. Ah, finally. Well, it doesn't even help me that much, but I did get a poison break. By the way, for the Halberd, actually, for given that this one has the standard Halberd moveset, I mean standard in the sense of the same moveset as the Halberd named Halberd, the Spear Talisman would actually be pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! Oh, I still got in the fire. No, not good. Definitely should have used Golden Vow because this is a lengthy fight. <laughs> but doing the phase transition, I can do that. Or, well, right after. Okay, nice. Alright. Oh, fuck. Ah, damn it, now I missed my opportunity. Okay, that sucks. Damn it, and he does that attack. That's not good. Oh, that's not a good combination. Okay, Torrent. Okay, that... <laughs> that almost went very wrong. Sucks a bit that I was messing about with my with two handing. Because I wanted to access my seal, obviously. <laughs> yeah! Damn it, I wanted to hit his head. Uh oh. I never trust that attack.
Oh, what the fuck? What the What the hell? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? The fire came out of nowhere all of a sudden. It was already gone and then it just came out of nowhere. What the hell was that? I guess that the fire just teleported from wherever Alexander teleported to. What the fuck was that? Now, that is a bunch of fuck. That fire came completely out of fucking nowhere. Jesus. I was literally saying, well, never trust that attack. Well, understatement of the century. What the hell, dude? Where did that fire even come from? Uh. Well, I definitely don't agree with that. Oh, wow, what the fuck? I mistimed the roll? Well, that was very unnecessary. I guess I was just a little too shocked from the fire, which is ironic. He should be shocked from my eyes. <laughs> He's secretly a firebender, yeah. Evidently. This is not good, but near the edge of the arena and uh, if this bullshit here. Yeah. Oh I'm really not in a good position here. Iframes. <laughs> that even fix, uh, features in uh, one of those uh, what's his name again? Calbot, I think. Those animations for uh, Elden Ring animations. Where you iframe <laughs> the getting crushed by a shield. Or whatever it is he's uh, holding. I don't know, maybe it's the lid of the... Okay, well it's not that big, but whatever it is. Okay, can I trigger it on Torrent? Yeah, okay, good. Ooh! Ah, he pushed me into fire. I was worried that was going to happen. Alexander's lit. <laughs> uh oh. I don't see the fire. There. Oh, Fire Giants Arena, the greatest arena in all from software history. If only Fire Giant still could fall to his death, but that's unfortunately something that has been patched out a long time ago. It's one of the earliest things that got patched, I think. Okay, finally got the force right. Alright.
Yeah. I kind of hate how the second, how slow the second phase is. <laughs> because you think you're through most of his health bar, but no, it doesn't really work out that way. Especially when you cannot really knock him down. I feel I can't really do any meaningful amount of poise damage to him. And I don't think Frozen Lightning Spear is going to help me out either. Okay, that attack again. Okay. Okay, the fire's truly gone. I hope so. Okay, let's quickly trigger these things. Ah, damn it, I couldn't hit it in time. Ooh, I almost missed time that. <laughs> Reminder that you have to fight another giant in DLC, and that's not even well, not even incorrect because we already saw Fire Giant 2.0 in the trailer. Damn it! <laughs> I hardly got any damage out of that. Oh nay! Whoa, whoa! We really? Oh my god! <laughs> that's terrible. Damn it! How the hell are we going to through the second phase? It's so slow. It's so slow. And he still one shot at me. <laughs> And that was with the Rituals uh, Shield Talisman, what the fuck? Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, chungy, 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 yeah, the lot. Ah. Fuck me. Should have gone for the crit, but it wouldn't even have mattered. Because yeah, for some reason the Fire Giant takes almost no critical damage. Ah. Yeah, and I don't... I can't really imagine that Frozen Lightning Spear is going to help me out in any way. Yeah. Well, I can't really increase my Vigor also, because I don't have... <laughs> I don't have souls for that. I'm already level 73. More health... Yeah, I wonder if that's uh, even helpful. I don't even know where it is, by the way. Um, I guess I could do Commander Nial and uh, and Loretta first, so that I'm a little leveled up uh, more. But it's not even that much. I mean, I have to do it eventually anyway. <laughs> the problem is Commander Nial is probably not going to give my uh, Commander Nial is not going to give me an easier time. I think. Just gonna need to simply kill the fire giant, yeah, I suppose. Okay, just try to get... I, I can't imagine that... Or maybe the spear talisman will help me out. Where is the spear talisman, by the way? I don't actually know where it is. Maybe that's a better one to use. Uh, does anyone know where the spear talisman actually is? Is it in Castle Morn? No, no, that's the, that's the Twin Blade one. Where's the Spear Talisman? I guess I have to l uh, look it up then. Eldering Spear Talisman. Lakeside Crystal Cave. Haven't I been there already? Isn't that where I was for Latana's armor? Yeah, that's the same uh, cave. Huh, how about that? Okay. <laughs> Let's get Alexander, pretty sure he'll teleport back. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
Okay, uh, I guess we can uh, quickly go and get it, but I don't, of course, know exactly where it is, but it's somewhere in the cave. Kind of a coincidence that it's literally the cave there that I was in to uh, get the tennis armor. Okay, so somewhere here is a chest that contains that talisman. I don't think the cave, this cave is that ginormous, so... Oh, I, th I think it's that one. Okay, very good. But the problem is that if I give up the... Well, I guess I should give up the, uh, the, uh, the Scorpion Charm because that lowers my defenses. But of course, that also lowers my damage output. After all, most of my damage comes from the buff. So I'm not sure if that's even... Uh, will this even be that beneficial? Hold on, let's, uh, well, let's take a look. How much damage do I have uh, with the Scorpion Charm? 3, 5, 8. Ah, it's not even that much difference. It's much less than, I, than you would expect, actually. Huh, okay. Then maybe the Spear Talisman will be somewhat helpful. Of course, it's only when I do the actual stab attacks and not when the, with the, uh, the weapon art, but... We can at least uh, see if it's uh, helpful. Multi-attack Talisman would make a difference. Um, would it? Not so sure about that. I guess I could do it instead of this one. I could get both. I mean, that's down here, right? But now I have to de defeat... Um, uh, is that a clean rod knight there? I, I think if I remember that correctly. Hmm. Maybe combining them would actually be somewhat helpful, but I don't know if that's really helpful for a Hellbot, because a Hellbot, after all, is a very slow weapon. I mean, this is a slow... In fact, maybe even the Twin Blade Talisman would be better, but then, uh, only when I get my entire attack chain off, so, yeah. I'm not sure. The Weapon Art will proc it. Hmm. I guess I could go and get it, but... Hell, but you mean the scythe? Yeah, the From Software has some weird uh, things there, but this is accurately referred to as a Hellbot, I suppose. Well, actually, the difference between a Hellbot and a Pole Axe, I believe, is that a Hellbot consists of a single piece and a Pole Axe doesn't, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that Ritual Sword... That's that's more consistent, I guess, but of course only when I have full health, but... I think that's maybe a better idea, it's more consistent. Because the... I think it's the Rotten Wing Insignia that it gives 15%, so I think that's better. Yeah, I guess the Ritual Sword uh, Talisman uh, makes more sense. So let's go. We can quickly go and get it. It's only just, uh, what is it? Uh, Demi Human Queen, uh, whatever her name is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Black Knight Halbert is called the Black Knight Glaive. Uh, correctly in Dark Souls 3. Because that's what it is. <laughs> and then the actual standard glaive is called a scythe. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait. That's not uh, the right location. Oh, hold on. Yeah, here. Yeah, Millicent's pr prosthesis, but yeah. I'm not going to do the entire uh, quest line. Oh yeah, Gillica. <laughs> Gillica's Island. 
That's Gilligas little cave. Ow. Pretty rare for her to get the opportunity to attack, by the way. Oh, whoa. Alright. That will not give us enough for a level, unfortunately. No, I understand you don't need to do the entire quest line, but you do have to go through Commander O'Neill, for example, so... Not too interested in doing that, to be honest. 408. That's no, not bad. I mean, having an AR of 408 unupgraded, that's pretty good. I think we would prefer a bill hook. Yeah, there's not a single bill hook in... in in the entire franchise, by the way. Hey, who knows? Uh, in the DLC, they, they have eight new weapon categories. Who knows what uh, they're going to introduce? Maybe hook swords. You know, like a uh, cabal in uh, Mortal Kombat. Who can say? We don't know exactly what uh, the, all those categories are. We know there are going to be upside down swords. It's kind of interesting that you hold upside down. Yeah, there are going to be uh, the, the throwing daggers that are actual weapons. So that's fun for J.K. Leeds, of course. Uh, Odachis. Uh, uh, basically a sort of shield and... Spear, what is it? S -s sort of... It's basically a shield that's also a weapon. Or something. So that would be the fourth one. But then there are still four more categ categories that we don't know about. Oh, pfft. Okay, I've equipped everything. Very good. Well, Baldur's Gate allows you to hit people with a salami? That's interesting choice. Okay, well, this time I at least didn't mistype the roll on the, on the snow attack. Well, I almost mistimed that, by the way. Oh fuck, stamina, stamina, woo! <laughs> that almost went wrong. Damn it, now the rest of the attack didn't hit. Fuck, I don't see the fire. Okay, worked out. Oh. Don't push me, please. Oh, ooh. Elder Ring Gatling Gun? Well, there is something like that that we saw the, uh, in the trailer. <laughs> Basically, a f fast firing uh, crossbow. Fuck. Now the fire is somewhere behind me. 
Oeh, I'm on the edge of the fire. Really? Jesus! I just want to say, my uh, ritual sword tiles uh, and shield tiles aren't active anymore, but uh, damn. Fuck, <laughs> this is not very good. We definitely noticed that even with uh, these additions, our damage is uh, dropping off quite uh, significantly now, at this point in the game. So even after getting past the fire giant, we have to deal with the godskin duo, so that's gonna be uh, fun. For the whole family. Son of a bitch. And that is Fire Giant's light attack. Yeah, basically. Oh. Uh. Golden Vow. The thing is, Fire Giant without upgrades is quite doable when you use like Rot and Poison and uh, Bleed and Black Flame, especially Black Flame. But yeah, a single source of Frostbite is not really the best way. Especially not in the second phase, of course. A bell of attrition, yes. Uh oh. Okay, well, at least got some frostbite, but now we have that stupid thing to. mess up our best damage opportunity. Also, I should definitely make sure that I am at full health as much as possible because the ritual shield talisman. Will because maybe. Oh, whoa! Well, there you go. <laughs> because maybe now without the lightning scorpion charm, some things that previously one shot at us no longer will. I mean, that might, uh, might have been a one shot with the lightning scorpion charm after all. Ah! He turned around like he stood on the turntable. Stupid arena! Oh, my buff is run out. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's why I why I did that so that I can immediately use golden vow.
You see, he takes a very little damage from uh, criticals, unfortunately. Fuck, I wish that if one exploded, the other one would also automatically explode. But of course, they intentionally didn't do it like that. Ah, oh, fuck, not that attack. Ah, but tor Torrent, why the fuck is Torrent? No, ah! Whoa, <laughs> Torrent actually took all the damage there. Is the fire truly gone? Because you <laughs> apparently never know. Oh, I put away my weapon? What the fuck am I doing? Whoa, he still hit me! What the fuck was that? Well, it just goes to show what a good boy Torrent can be. Fuck, he has so much health. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck was that? He just... How often does he even do that attack? He has so much health. I wish I could get some frost right now. Oh, I was afraid I would mistime that again. Ooh. No. Okay, let's just stand here. Ah. Ah, finally! But that's still quite a bit of health left. Oh fuck, Torrent! So close yet so far. So close yet so far. Whoa. No. No. Huh? 
Oh, he was far enough away. Oh, getting a heart attack. No, not that attack. No! Come on! No! That is such bullshit. Come on. Why always that fucking attack? That attack is so fucking fucked up bullshit. Damn it, this is such a. I'm going to take a piss. Just a frustration piss. Fuck me. Ah, well, I'm back. Oh boy. <laughs> Baron says the deaths. So, what direction should Fire Giants Fire go during this attack? And Miyazaki was like, yes. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> Can't wait for the death blight, the uh, dragon. Well, we have, uh, we are going to get another. Fire giant in the, in the DLC, you know that uh, weird basket guy. And I, th <laughs> I think Miyazaki was like, you know what? What would be fun? You know how Pont of Sullivan during a second phase makes a clone. What if Fire Giant 2.0 makes a clone of himself during his second phase? I wouldn't even be surprised. I wouldn't even be surprised that we have to, an actual Fire Giant duo uh, fight in that sense. God damn it. Ah. Huh. Ah, okay. Sleep dragon. I that probably will uh well there will at least be sleep enemies. I think there's going to be entire sleep area. Ah. Yeah. I guess I should uh, apply golden vow more often. 
<laughs> I was thinking maybe instead of the Spiritasman, I should do this for more fire defense. Maybe I that I I can't imagine that that ten percent extra negation, which is not a percent uh, ten percent less damage, of course. That that would have saved me, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also can't really imagine that the Dragon Skill Blade will be more effective. It does attack... F yeah, you can attack faster with it, maybe, but yeah. And then I... Then it's no real, not really at any point of using this. Would that really help? I doubt it. I doubt it. And you can you can attack faster, but is it better? The frost builder will be, be uh, you know what? Let's just give it a try. I mean, we can at least give it a try. We will probably uh, discover quickly that the dragon blade is basically useless for the entire remainder of the playthrough. <laughs> But who knows. But yeah, I should reapply Golden Vow at some points. You have nothing left to lose. Well, that's fucking ominous. But not entirely inaccurate. Does the fire giant have a weakness to slash damage by any chance, by the way? I don't know. I don't think so. Stamina. Okay, we got some frostbite at least. It, 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 the fast attacks do kind of seem to help actually. Yeah, Frost is the best damage type in the game, that's true. Well, Bleed, but that's a status effect, not a damage type. Regardless, I do think that the Katana is working a bit better in this fight. This particular fight, so uh oh. I don't like this angle <laughs> and the uh, arena. <laughs> okay, there's not a good position to be in here. Come on, fire giant, move forward, please. Ah, that's also good. Fuck, but now I don't have... Okay. Quickly. Okay, that's the other attack, fortunately. Still, I don't want to get near there. What's my stamina? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, fuck! 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, he still hit me! Greg, heal! Son of a biscuit. That's the other one, again, and that's good. Still, again, don't go near there. Okay, nice. Okay, just attack his head. Okay, frostbite, good. Oh, that's... Fuck. Quick, trigger them. Fuck, I got... I have to be at full health. Ah! That almost went wrong. Oh fuck, I still got hit. Okay, careful. Heal. Ah, annoying attack that. Fuck, missed. Damn it. Stupid attack. No! Fuck. Heal. And immediately that stupid attack? Come on. Yeah. No! Oh, the fire! You see how the fire moves? What the fuck is is that? Who the hell designed that fucking attack? You saw it literally moving around like that. Fuck me. Thank you, Miyazaki. I hate it. The fire has AI. That's basically what it comes down to. Son of a biscuit. No! Again! No! Ah! What the hell is even happening?
happening? I'm alive somehow. What the hell? I don't know what's happening. Ah. Uh. Okay, that was pure panic, but I guess it sort of worked out. What the hell? But now I'm out of healing eyes because I accidentally used two. Uh, two. Come on, just die. Die, 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 die. Fuck you, fire giant stupid. The up, the sub, the flop, the flop, flop. For just. Oh, wait, I don't, didn't want to do that. I wanted to just. Put frozen lightning on his grave. Son of a fuck. Son of a fuck. Just die with your stupid AI fire attack, whatever stupid. Yeah. Clothe feel. Jokka says it uh, like it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> wow, what a fight. <laughs> that sword desert red needs to be a final bit. Another two. Yeah, I suppose so. Ah. <sighs> Gee, I hope there isn't an even more annoying boss next. Oh, now we have a godskin duo. Uh, yeah, through the fire and the flames we carry on. Unfortunately. Son of a fuck. I think I need to level up my vigor. <laughs> fire queef. I think I should level up my vigor. Uh, blah blah blah. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Sleep. I don't know yet. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, this is not the PC version. I just can't give myself uh, infinite sleep pods after all. Also, oh no, that's a oh fuck, that's after the Godskin duel where you have the physical damage uh, boosting, uh, physical damage negation uh, talisman. So, but I wonder, this, did, uh, when I got caught in the fire, did this talisman actually save me? Maybe it did. That is a good point, Baron. The frozen lightning spear might go through the pillars. I think so. Makes sense. Um, yeah. I don't think there's any fire in Far Missoula, so. How much is this? Yeah, we need a lot now, so, okay, well, just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, we we're hanging on by a thread, so I think that tells me did something. M makes sense. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a fight that was. <laughs> that that pure panic moment. <laughs> wow, I I don't even know how I survived that because I hardly even uh, understood what was happening. But we can draw an important conclusion now. The dragon skill blade. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I wanted to hold it in my hand. The dragon skill blade was in fact more beneficial in this particular fight. In this particular fight, it was. I don't know if that's uh, if that also going to apply to the Godskin though, but in this particular fight, the Dragon Skill Blade proved be to prove to be more efficient than the Halberd. So it's not the case that it uh, turned out to be completely useless. So at least that is something we have learned. Hey, also important. For <laughs> idea tight, exactly, Jakker. And now Melina is going to burn herself. I mentioned that early on in the stream. I, it's it's such a shame that Melina is an underutilized character. Because she could have been very important. And this moment could have been very impactful. But especially when I saw other blind playthroughs of the game. Melina's death didn't really have that much impact. And that, the reason for that is because she seems to play a very important role early on. And 
you technically can summon her, summon her at uh, certain graces to get a little bit of lore, a little bit of a uh, bit of additional lore. But for most people, when you get here, you have seen her maybe a few times, and then you're like, yeah, okay, she's gone now, yeah. So be it. So I. She's set up to be to be uh, to be playing such an important role, but then it feels like yeah, feels like a bit of a letdown. Yeah, I mentioned that too, uh, fun bonus. But the problem is because she dies here, and you don't need to have the frenzy uh, flame ending in order to access the DLC. I don't think Melina is going to be present in the DLC at all. And it's a shame because at the end of the Frenzy Flame ending is basically what seems to reveal that Melina is the uh, what was it the, the Gloom Eyed Queen, that's the right uh, the right title I think. So that is, uh, looks like a setup for a DLC, but <laughs> hey, maybe there's going to be two DLCs. Who knows? <laughs> In another two years. On the one hand, I think that you have a good point uh, there, Radio, but on the other hand, so many people complained that when you need to level up, that you have to go to a level up wife who is kind of tedious, and just being able to level up at a bonfire is much more convenient. So it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. I guess the uh, in Lies of P they took uh, a smart approach. In new game, you need to be at uh, the Blue Fairy in order to uh, level up. But then, from new game plus onwards, you don't. So that way, they made her relevant in your first playthrough. But then, in subsequent uh, playthroughs, then you have the convenience of leveling up at any, basically any time. You don't constantly have to come uh, back to the hotel. But yeah, who knows? Oh yeah, the Azula Dragons and the Banners nice to fight them. Yeah, actually have a good point. And of course the Godskins, but... Black Flame is a little different in that sense. Yeah, that's something I mentioned uh, on multiple occasions as well, Radio. They could have made an ending where... It becomes significant that you... Remove the Fancy Flame influence because they have to have this entire quest line with Nicholas Needle, but it's kind of pointless. In fact, even the actual event where you use the needle, it feels like a complete letdown. I even made a point of that in my uh, Vike video. Well, it's what it is. <laughs> the Godskin Fire Giant duo. Don't give them any ideas, please. Well, a call beyond, but the problem is, it's so hard to even tell lore-wise what M Melina exactly is all about. In that sense, she's also underutilized. It's not very, it's not very clear. So, yeah, I don't know. A black flame dragon. <laughs> hey, who knows? The giant foreskin duo. <laughs> Beautiful. A Gideon duo, please no. The annoying thing about Gideon is he either is an easy fight or he is a ridiculously hard fight. There's like no in between. <laughs> <laughs> Redan duo. <laughs> Plasuda Sex duo. Well, actually, Plasuda Sex in his prime or something. That uh, could have been interesting. 
where he still has all his hats. Don't mind if I just pass through here. <laughs> they should just literally put in Rick, Soldier of God, in his, at his full power. Just unironically. Or make uh, Let Me Solo Her an actual boss fight in the game. I mean, from so far, already publicly acknowledged him, you know, with his own sword. Might as well turn him into an actual boss fight. By the way. In my Latana, that wolf is called Lobo. Unfortunately, that's not a reference to Lobo's Jr. It's just a Spanish word for wolf. But still, pretty, uh, pretty fun. <laughs> New but uh, dual boss fight, Rick Soldier of God and a Dragonfly. <laughs> well, to be fair, those Dragonflies can be rather annoying. <laughs> they already have a duo fight with a Miranda Flower in the game. You know, with an Omen ki uh, Killer and a Miranda Flower. is like <laughs> the most random shit you can imagine. <laughs> imagine you defeat that Mesmer guy. It's the end of the DLC. But then from the shadows, similar to the Shura ending Sekiro, comes the true final last boss. Let me solo her. It uh, would have been a cool twist. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would have been a cool twist. <laughs> a dragonfly boss. Why not? Hey, make an actual pooper boss. Not a butterfly, but an actual pooper that you have to fight. Now, that would be awesome. Speaking of butterflies, uh, another... Uh, 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 a poison... Uh, yeah, basically an uh, eldering version of the butterfly set. Why not? Yeah, just give the DLC uh, a butterfly set. Why not? That inflicts deadly poison. That would be fun. <laughs> Libel. Li yeah, li libel. Uh, yeah, libel. What is uh, is there? A, what's the English word for a libel? Actually, is that is, wait? Hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's just a dragonfly, right? That's just what dragonfly. Huh. I thought actually the Bella was a type of dragonfly. Well, whatever. Don't know. Okay, but against the gods can do. Would be the Halbert better, or would be. Well, this one has better charge attacks, because this one has to spin to win, which is actually not really that winning. I mean, it's inconvenient if you ask me. <laughs> it's also a woman's magazine. Yeah, it's true. My mother, uh, back in the day, read the libella. <laughs> well, I have to one hand anyway if I want to make good use of the frozen lightning spear. By the way, when it comes to... I have five, seven... I have... Is there one more golden... Uh, do I need one or two more golden seeds? Hold on. Hold on a second. Five. Where can I... Oh. My laptop is running out of juice. Maybe I should put an ice cube on it and that will electrify it. Who knows? So where can I get two more golden seeds? Oh, actually I know one. I didn't pick up the one near the vo near Volcano Manor. Isn't there one close to Commander Niel? Where is there still another golden seed? 
Because I definitely want to g go into this fight with as many flask as I can. Ah, damn it, that one golden seat is pretty far away. That sucks. Is there another golden seat I didn't pick up? Well, while I think about that... Let's just traverse the way too long uh, road towards uh, the golden seat near the Volcano Manor. Hey, if I remember, at least this gives give me a gift. Ugh, I can hardly talk. At least this will give me an excuse to use a Snake Eater reference, maybe. Unfortunately, it uh, it gets harder and harder to make Snake Eater references that I haven't made before. <laughs> Whoa! Almost not in time. It's Labula, or something, I don't know how you pronounce it, in Portuguese, Portuguese as well. Makes sense. Libel is also a false statement, yeah, that's true. Also, I don't know how many runes these are. I don't think a lot. Given that I have quite a bit of runes in my inventory. Could I squeeze another level out of this? Yeah, these are all low value runes, so I'm not so sure about that. Or I could go back to the round table hall to sell some stuff, maybe. Hey, Frozy! This is just like Gorbino's quest. This is the Gorbino quest of using unupgraded ice lightning part 2. Gorbino's quest? I'm not sure what that is. But thank you for the donation. Uh, let me google that then quickly. Hold on. Gorbino's quest. I don't know that reference. Cruelty Squad Wiki? What is Gorbino's quest? It's considered to objectively be the best video game ever in the Cruelty Squad universe. Cruelty Squad. Okay, interesting. Some sort of uh, indie game. Okay, interesting. Corpino's Quest. It's some sort of an indie game, apparently. I didn't know about that uh, one. Next up, can you beat uh, Corpino's Quest using uh, <laughs> something? I don't know what's in that game. We opened him to a new world, oh boy. <laughs> so, it's some sort of a very special type of indie game. Okay, yeah, I'd never heard of it before. Interesting. Gorbino's Quest. Maybe I should look it up uh, in detail after the stream. But uh, thank you very much for the donation, I appreciate that very much. Oh, and even more Snake Eater uh, moments. And a Grafted Scion. Ski on. I just called ski on. Who cares? <laughs> Press that game will make you actually want to die. What? You have to fire uh, fight uh, fire giants constantly or something? You can beat it with the Zippy 3000 with the extravagant suit on hope eradicated on Chaos Plus punishment. But what the hell? You have no idea. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thr... I've, I've never uh, heard anything anymore from um, the Snake Eater remake. I was expecting it to be... At least to... Uh, have a date announced at uh, this point. So, when, uh, when is the Snake Eater remake coming out? I you would suppose somewhere in this fall or something, but we haven't heard anything yet. Ooh, I gotta get up for work in a few hours, yet I'm here watching this. Oh boy, newbie, you need to get some sleep. Otherwise, work is going to be complete hell.
Well, I guess when it comes to the release date of the Snake Eater remake, we can only dream about it. We're still in the dream until we get an actual trailer with a release date. Yeah, that's true, newbie. That is true. Maybe you sh you should become a YouTuber then, uh, newbie. <laughs> that's how I how I got uh, out of my dead end job. So. Of course, uh, let's hope that my channel is not going to become a dead end, <laughs> because uh, it's not doing so well, of course. Let's hope that the Elden Ring DLC is going to change that quite a bit. Hey, and maybe if I'm very lucky, by focusing on Stellar Blade when that game comes out, maybe I will draw on some new audience uh, to my channel, hopefully. Unless the algorithm is not going to be friendly, which it likely won't be. <laughs> Just sell your soul for views, yeah. Just sell out, hate yourself, but also become rich, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the fate of every YouTuber. Okay, we still need another golden seed. Hold on, let's go to the round table, because I think I can, I can get at least another level. Uh, you can uh, play the demo in, uh, in the... Yeah, it's, it's a PS5 exclusive, unfortunately, uh, Pocky, so I don't know if uh, that's applicable to you. Hey, there we have Frederica. Uh, lovely, uh, lovely girl, definitely. But uh, basically, you could say... It's hard to really pinpoint it, but the Stellar Blade is like a combination between Nier Automata and Sekiro. It's uh, sort of. Well, yeah, sort of. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit different than that, but that kind of encapsulates what uh, the game is about. But uh, I, uh, I think that's uh, going to be quite a popular game when it comes out. I think so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> we're not upgrading. Uh, we're not upgrading. No, 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 no. That's the whole premise of the video. Now we're going to sell our runes. Okay, how many runes do I even need? 37. Ooh, I'm not sure if I... can get that far. Uh, it's not really worth that much, this. Fuck. Oh, upgrade materials. Uh, of course. I don't need those anyway. There we go. I think it was a little more. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I'm actually not sure how to pronounce your name. I know you're a freaking viewer. Uh, Satish Satisha? Satisha? Yeah, I know, I, that kind of annoys me a little bit too, because I'm more excited about the gameplay and not so much... Uh, I mean, I'm not a horny teenager after all. But yeah. But of course, I don't know uh, if... Um, if so, how challenge-runnable Celebrate is going to be. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Probably a no upgrades run is something you can at least do. Uh, okay, um... Level up. Okay. No, it's not a porn game, but... Uh, let's just say, just like uh, with uh, 2B in Nier Automata, there's a lot of emphasis on uh, the backside of uh, the protagonist. Okay. Um, I still need a golden seed. Where can can I get a golden seed? I think you can get one on the way to Nial, but I just don't know. It's been too long since I had to collect golden seeds, I think, I guess. Can you beat it to Stella Blade? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm uh, 38. I'm no longer a horny teenager, so that's not really the appeal. Uh, of that game to me. I mean, I appreciate the female form, of course, that's not the issue, but I just think the gameplay is very interesting and that's what I'm focused about. Unfortunately, 
a lot of people are more focused on the other aspects. Aspects. And <laughs> beat it by Michael Jackson when he starts playing. But where exactly is another golden seed then here? Uh, or is there no golden seed here? Damn it, where the hell is another golden seed? I just need one. Uh, actually, uh, newbie, I even... Uh, I think I mentioned it before, but... I had a specific idea in mind for a chance run in Snake Eater. So if the... When the remake comes out, I would be interested in doing that. So there is no golden seat. Or is there a golden seat inside of the castle? I just don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. No, I'm not going to defeat also in the tree spirit. Where is another golden seed? So there's not no golden seed here. Where is one? <laughs> I don't get it. There has to be a uh, golden seed somewhere. Can anyone point out another golden seed that I haven't picked up? Where the fuck is a golden seed? Oh! Roderica's, Roderica's one. Oh yeah, Kenneth is also one. Yeah, you, good point. This is the one I didn't pick up. Okay, very good. Very good indeed. Do what Baron did. Go to Be Bethesda games uh, when you're out of idea. Oh, sorry. I should say Bethesda game. <laughs> A few among you will understand that reference. <laughs> But not a lot. <laughs> Maybe Motorfears will. Uh, okay, now we can go to the Godskin Duo. Yay, fun. I actually didn't pick up the map there, I, apparently. <laughs> I don't think Baron was yet on the channel when I uh, made that very weird... Uh, Pronunciation of Bethesda. <laughs> okay. Eight healing flash, five through in flash. Hmm. You know what? Let's just uh, give it. A, let's just see what we're working with. Oh, fuck. They're not there yet. But that's a waste. Well, it does go through the pillars, so that's good at least. But it doesn't really do significant damage. Oh, whoa, fuck. In fact, even the Frostbite build-up is not that extremely high. It's only 120, which sounds very nice, but in practice... Ah, it's not bad, but it just takes too much FP to get uh, through the fight this way. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank you, Lock-On. Oh, it even missed. Yeah, this is not gonna cut it. So maybe we should literally cut it. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not good. That's not good at all.
Fuck, what the hell? How the hell did that miss? Oeh. I think I'm just going to run out of FP <laughs> because I used way too much already. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I got <laughs> I got hit by one fireball and then I got st stuck in that uh, attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, damn it. Yeah, Frozen Lightning Spear in principle is good. It's just it costs way too much FP. That's not gonna help me. So, I think I'll just, um... Ah, fuck. But is the Dragon Skill Blade better here? Well, they are weaker to slash damage, so... Oh fuck, whoa, nah, that's not good. Well, at least the buff is still active. That's not interesting, by the way, even if the animation doesn't finish. Oh fuck, what the hell am I doing? So even if the animation doesn't finish, the buff is still active. That's at least good to know. Fuck! Uh, I don't think this is gonna work like, like this. I'm not good enough at this fight. And... Especially not how long it's been since I even did it. With a low damage output or at all. Oh, fuck. Damn it. This is where the helmet would- Oh! Of course! This is where the helmet would be uh, more beneficial. Okay. I don't think this is gonna be a victory here. Oh, the music is epic as fuck, that's true. Damn, the fight is going to be way too long this way. Uh-oh. Lock-on is not that helpful here. Ah, oh, come on!
No! Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get through this fight. <laughs> oh, whoa! That didn't hit me? Interesting. Oh, oh, seriously? Come on. Oh my god. Just still just the first verse of the noble. Oh, of course. Okay, that that no no, that's not helping. That's not gonna help. Okay, how else can I do this? Hmm. Actually, I won't put it off any longer. I really need to get some sleep. Yes, you do, newbie. <laughs> Wish you best press. Good night and good luck. Thank you, uh, newbie. And hopefully you won't uh, have a too bad of a time uh, tomorrow at work with your lack of sleep. <laughs> so hopefully you get, uh, still get at least some sleep. And thank you for being here. Um, okay... Yeah, the things with frozen lightning is how much FP does that even cost in total? I mean, I do have starlight shards, but those are limited. And I don't have anything to boost incantations, so... What would be the best way to do this? By the way, I should get rid of Flame Cleanse Me, because that's just in the way. Um, yeah, sleep pot, but I don't even have any pots. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Um... First of all, I should focus on the Apostle, so that at least the Noble will not do a stupid roll. That's something. No, that, uh, that's only active for like uh, 20 seconds or something, Lucas. Frozen Lightning Spear, how much uh, FP did that even cost, by the way? Way too much, at least. And sometimes it doesn't even hit. 29 FP. How much do I even have? 96. <laughs> I can only cast it just like a few times with my bar. No, that's not gonna help me. Shit. Damn it. I don't can't really think of a strategy or something. Yeah, frozen lightning spear, but that's just not viable because it just requires too many casts. And against the Apostle, I think uh, the, the blade is actually better. Oh, whoa. The Dragon Skill blade is actually better.
way too uh, too uh, too little damage to. I mean, if I make a few mistakes. Like that. Can't even hit him. I, I think I'm going to need sleep pods for this, otherwise it's, I don't see it uh, don't see it happening. In fact, even with sleep pods, and they are limited, and I'm on PS5. Fuck me. Come on, why did I not hit? Nah, come on. Damn it, I don't really know, because uh, sleep pods are limited uh, on PS5. And I don't have any, by the way. That's also a thing. Why is God's gonna do even heal lore-wise? To be honest, I don't actually know. I don't even have pots to begin with. Infinite Citadels in Snowfield? No, that's not true. There aren't even infinite ones. I mean, you get free from uh, Carly. Promise I, s I used all my runes. Yeah, st sleep thought sucks. Yeah, okay, you technically you can farm them, but that's not uh, that's not viable. Yeah, that's a massive downside of being on PS5 now. Well, technically not, because the Sleep Torch doesn't do any uh, damage. <laughs> what game would the gods can do a play in honor of you? Uh, no idea. Um, I think this one? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even remember. That's the benefit of when you're on PC. You can just get anything at any time. So yeah, once I use them and I fuck up, then it's, uh, then I wasted them. That sucks. Double Dutch? But it's not a game. Poison flowers? What the hell? Oh. Wasn't even close to him. <laughs> I'm, I, I literally cannot make sense of... Uh, McAster, I cannot make sense of why so many people ask that question. <laughs> that, is, that is so bizarre. There are so many comments on a video that ask about that. And I just don't understand why they ask that. Oh, he only has the lilies. He doesn't have uh, he doesn't have pots. Who has po who, who has the pots then? Yeah, but I just got them, uh, Frozy, from Kill. Akali. Um. Where are the more merchants? This one, maybe? Double Dutch is a playground game? Really? Never heard of it. Oh, yeah, I could cloud save. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Oh, also now, where the hell are all the pots? Huh? 
Okay, guys, where are pots? Who else? Uh, huh? This one? Cave near kill? Oh, this one maybe. And <laughs> just go down the street, yeah, if I want to get pot, yeah. Good point. Ah, oh, he has only one. That's not a lot. But well, better than nothing. Okay, that's one. South Caleb Merchant, okay. Oh, the merchant uh, uh, near the tibia. Tibia somewhere. A mariner. There's one or two better living. Uh, you mean uh, near uh, Godric? That could be the case, yeah. Okay, so this merchant apparently has them done. Yes, he has uh, one. Okay, I have five right now. Don't know how many I'm going to need. <laughs> um. What are you guys? Oh, the merchant near the Tibia Mariner. <laughs> Economy is rough these days, yes. Siofra? Merchant? There's a merchant in Siofra. Oh, yeah, that's true. He has one, okay. Oh, hey, hello. Okay, now I have six. Why not go to Pot Village near Upside Down Tower? Is that, is that also why pots can be found? It makes sense. I never go there. Jarburg. Okay, that Earth Tree Avatar has one very close. Oh, really? But I don't know where exactly it is, so that's not gonna. I'm probably not going to find it then. Um, the Shiofra merchant. I don't know exactly where he is, but unfortunately. In the lower city, yeah, but I don't know where exactly, so... Mm. Yeah, so in the pot village, apparent, apparently, okay, I never go there, so... Oh, for Godrex, oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Then that should be enough, I suppose. Okay, very good. I don't know what the other thing is. Also one? Ah, okay, nice. Okay, now we uh, now we have a sufficient amount. Very good. Ton of Trina, uh, tr uh, Trina lilies next to the Albaneric village. 
Around the tree in the swamp. I don't know if the, I picked the ones up in Weeping Peninsula, because that's also where you can find a whole bunch. But I have 13 here. Extremely rare to find, it even says so. First, let's make sure I had, had all of these ones. I'm not sure if I picked them up uh, when uh, setting up the character. <laughs> you were, uh, wish that meat dumplings were uh, farmable? Well, not the rotten ones. Well, I guess they, in a roundabout way, they give you the Taco Bell experience. I already picked these up. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't have a grace near the Albanelic village, so that's also uh, helpful. Do you have mushrooms? Oh yeah, you also have to have mushrooms. Jesus, this is so annoying. <laughs> Why can't I just be on PC? Oh, I not don't even have the cookbook yet. Jesus, very annoying. And that's why uh, being on PC is so superior. Uh, how the hell do you get the cookbook again? I think you have to get on top of that thing. You get 10 mercenaries for, for, from... Just talking to, uh, to Bok? Okay. Interesting. Oh, by the way, now we're here anyway. Well, it kind of depends how you define rescuing, but... But now I have his golden seed. I brought Kenneth Hyde very low. Well, I'm not a console, a console peasant, but I just simply had to because I had issues with my PC and I don't even know exactly why. But when I was testing out, uh, I got a lot of stutters and that kind of stuff when I was uh, running the game and OBS at the same time. So I don't know what exactly happened because I have done many uh, of these streams on PC by now. Without any issue. So I don't know what the hell happened. But something went wrong apparently. I have five mushrooms. Well, if, I, if you get uh, ten mushrooms from just talking to Bok, then uh, that should be easy. But yeah, then I should definitely make a cloud save or something so that uh, so that I don't run out or have to go and collect new. Uh, Materials because that's a bit that, that's uh, going to get uh, frustrating very quickly. Cully? Okay, now I don't know what I, what the hell does Cully mean? Sounds like an insult. I don't think I've ever done this full quest line, by the way. Why is he a tree, by the way? <laughs> That's kind of a weird thing. What a shame. Was he doing yoga? I mean, isn't that like one of the yoga poses that you were... 
try to be a tree or something. I don't know. Weird. Ah, oh, well, at least I got 10 mushrooms now, so that's good. Alright. Okay, so I have 8 sleep pods now. But yeah, I definitely think I should just uh, go and make a cloud save quickly. Oh, whoops. Now you have to quit out the game, right? A <laughs> mushroom and pot, calm down, press, yeah. Would have been smarter to make the cloud safe outside of the uh, of the boss arena, towards uh, <laughs> you know towards the gods can do, but whatever. Don't forget the crystal meth <laughs> weapon buff. So yeah, that's a bit, that's not the smartest thing, but whatever. Yeah, PS5 has safe scum options. If you have, a, I think you need a PS Plus account for that. Took me way longer to. Well, actually. Was it possible on PS4 as well? Because I know that in uh, that it would have come in handy in uh, in uh, other flavors, uh, like for uh, like uh, farming for stuff in, uh, in other Souls games before. But then I, but at that point, I didn't know about that, or it was not possible on PS4. I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, let's make sure. I think I definitely should focus on the on the apostle. Oh yeah, on PS4 you could like do something with the uh, like a USB uh, hard drive or something. Whatever. Um, okay, let's just see if we can uh, if we can make this work now. So let's sleep the noble. And focus on the Apostle. Hey! What the hell?! No! Well, that was lame. What the fuck was that?! <laughs> they learn from the internet, yeah, maybe. You can learn from the internet? Oh! The noble's already back! Well, that sucks. Yeah, they're actually designed to wake each other uh, up, but that was... ...cut by mistake or something? I don't know exactly what happened there, but... I don't know, something weird happened there. And I'm very thankful that that's the case. Yeah, apparently the damage is too low to uh, do it with one sleep pod. What? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Accidentally. Oh, I didn't even use my uh, uh, physic flask.
Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 fuck no. That was not what I wanted. Okay, uh, let, let's just completely try that again then. In randomized godskins wake each other up, really? I think the knights outside mess with him. Okay, well, <laughs> at least it's a good thing that that... Uh, that somehow something causes them to not do that move because <laughs> that would really uh, have sucked if they could wake each other up. Okay, let's try it again, but not do it uh, right this time. At least now I have my physical flask and golden vow. I also didn't... Where's golden vow? Okay, I somehow unequipped golden vow. Okay, now I should have enough damage, hopefully. Okay. Oh, I'm not two ending. Getting shit RNG, unfortunately. I was too early. Yeah, fucking hell. Okay, now he's definitely going to wake up. I'm stuck. I got stuck against the pillar. Come on. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was a complete mess. Come on. Oh, good thing I made that cloud save then. Yeah, if I get shit RNG and if I just mess things up to begin with, yeah, then it's not gonna work out. Oh! Oh, that's helpful. That's definitely helpful. Okay, that was better. <laughs> oh, whoa, shit. Come on, finish it. That's better. Ah, fuck it. Oh, he's already waking up. Well, actually, I should wait until the apostle comes back and then put the god, uh, the noble, uh, back to sleep. Well, actually, his uh, his uh, defenses increase as well to sleep. But okay, should be fine because I don't want to deal with his role. <laughs> okay. Great golden vow. Fuck my buff.
Come on, what the hell? Come on, stagger. That's better. Oh, whoa! Why the hell is he back already? Well, that's fucked. Fucking lock on. He was back way too early. Oh, nah, no! Come on! <sighs> well, it's still not really working out. Son of a bitch. Okay. Fuck! I can't really imagine that the halberd is going to help me out. I mean, it's... Is it even going to do more damage? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but the thing is, Baron, that I have to waste so much time with that roll attack. I mean, if I have to constantly wait out the roll, then... Uh, then the Apostle will obviously wake up, so that's also an issue. Yeah, maybe stance break, I don't know. Maybe focusing on the weapon art. I mean, at least this weapon art functions better as an attack. Oh my god. Sneaking in uh, attacks is also a bit safer this way. Oh, emphasis on the bit! Well, actually, no. <laughs> Oh, really? I know, I'm doing less stam stance damage, it uh, seems. Somehow. Oh, wait, again too early? Come on. Oh, he's not even doing it, by the way. Lock on. What the hell is this? Oh, and <laughs> what the hell is this? This is messed up.
Yeah, the fucking noble is in the way. Why do I keep missing? <sighs> yeah, so I'm not uh, I'm not sure if the Hellbot is really that uh, more beneficial than the the blade. Uh, random question: When you did your first live stream, do you remember how many viewers you got? Uh, Twelve, I believe. When I did the Doom Eternal streams, yeah, at most I had 12 or something. I mean, it's a long time ago. Also today, I don't... Uh, uh, how many do I have now? Also not that many. 113. Well, it's a lot more than 12. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, damn it, I have to load my cloud save, I guess. Download. Well, it's at least uh, helpful. <laughs> Yesterday I got up to 300. Oh, hi. Uh, I actually thought that this uh, particular, these two particular streams didn't get uh, too many viewers. Well, of course, uh, during the actual stream, I can't really pay attention to that anyway. You didn't know I streamed on YouTube. Well, first of all, I don't have a Twitch account, so I can only stream on YouTube, but... I have been streaming for quite a long uh, long time. I think my first stream was, yeah, it was Doom Eternal. That was, uh, that was not when the game came out, of course. I think that was in... Yeah, end uh, 2020. So, for over three years uh, I've been streaming. But that's not the right question, Pavel. Why would I have Twitch? That's the question to ask. Oh, I uh, <laughs> have to re-equip Golden Vow. What's the benefit of having a Twitch account? <laughs> I didn't know you existed. Yeah, hey. That applies to a lot of people. <laughs> Or even the people who do know I exist and who are subscribed to me. A lot of people have let me know that they don't even get my videos in their uh, subscription box. So thank you, YouTube. I Doom, Doom Eternal was the first uh, live stream I did. Oh, great start. Fantastic start. Again, fantastic start. Fucking stamina. What the hell? Well, that was a really shit attempt. <laughs> There's probably like 7 billion people that don't know you exist. Yeah, more or less. Okay, sleep both of them. Oh! Okay, well then I'll... Okay. Then I'll focus on the... 
Van de apostel. Fuck, de buff is way too slow. At least in the first phase that doesn't do any damage, so that's good. Eh, fuck! It staggered me. By the way, I always thought that that was a grab attack, but it's not. <laughs> kind of surprising. Okay, nice. But the Apostle is going to wake up way before I have defeated uh, this fucker. Oh, huh? He's not changing. What the hell? He is already changed. What the kind of bullshit is that? He skipped his, his transformation animation. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? Oh yeah, I just skipped. Oh, and now he's... Oh, <laughs> fuck this fight. Fuck this entire fucking fight. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, fuck. I'm stuck and I just can't finish it quickly enough. Not really the best position, but... Damn it, I need to buff! What, what, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Jesus, and the noble still... Oh. I'm really getting shit RNG also. Whoa, 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 that almost went very wrong. Fuck, the noble's in a really bad position now. What 
the hell? <sighs> I just can't get a good opportunity. Come on, Noble, what the hell? Oh, come on! Why can't I get some good RNG for... for some get... Fuck! What the hell is up with the, the RNG in this fight? Jesus, motherfucker. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous, Daniel. This is... <laughs> I just didn't get any sort of opportunity here. Fucking hell. Terrible shit, RNG. It's already such a lengthy fight, and given that my damage output is low, I need good RNG just to get through it quickly enough. Okay, come on, good RNG. Oh god! <laughs> Oh, just forget it. Forget it. Um. <laughs> he actually landed on top of me. I literally said I want good RNG and he lands on top of me. Fucking fucked up the fuck face. Believe it or not, Fire Giant is uh, better than this. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, okay, well, at least I have both of them asleep, so... Okay, Noble's back already. No! I'm in front of him! I'm in front of him! Oh, yeah, but now I kill him and then the Noble kills me. Oh my god. I hate this fight. I do really hate this fight. I hate this fight. It's such a mess.
Oh, that's the opposite way. Fuck! Really? I even preemptively rolled and still didn't work. Oh, the Apostle's already back. Oh, he, he knocked me out of the air. Why can't I stance break him? Ah. I guess I just should wait for the noble to come back and just sleep him. And use Golden Vow again. Oh wait, I sh actually should have used this opportunity to do some damage so that I... Ah, I'm stupid. I don't have enough time. Okay, I definitely should have done that differently. Oh, come on! Okay, get away from the noble, please. Okay. But can I even sleep the noble again? Well, first the uh, apostle has to appear.
Okay, good. Oh, fuck! Shit, soy. Stagger? What the hell? Why doesn't he stagger? Fucking shit fight. Oh, and he doesn't trans- Fuck alicious! I can't get the critical! Oh, and now the Apostle's back. Uh, Noble is back. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck. Come on, do something! What the fuck, dude? Yeah, should I? I don't know what to do now. <laughs> okay, wait for the Apostle and then sleep him again, hopefully, if that works. With two sleep bots. I hope. Whoa! Why?! Why? Why? Yeah, so was I, my caster. Oh, I have to take another rage piss. <laughs> well, first of all... Come on, this work. Unbelievable. I thought that would have been the end. Just sleeping the noble again and then focus on the apostle. Fuck me. What a shit fight. <sighs> Is that like angry sex? You know, not as satisfying. Okay, first uh, let's take a piss and crack open a beer. Why not?
Okay, I'm back and I cracked open a cold one, you know, for an extra spark of inspiration, I would say. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm definitely going to need it. <laughs> Don't buff while he summons, sleep him. Huh? Not quite sure what you mean, but okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just try again, that's basically the only thing we can do, it's basically the only thing we can do. <laughs> I feel guilty that I'm sitting chilling while you're stressing so much, hey, that's basically what streaming comes down to, <laughs> you guys get to chill out, and I get to suffer. Oh, really? So many times it goes over your head, and then when it really matters, then it doesn't happen. Of course. Well, I have a terrible start again. He's not even staggering. Come on, stagger. What the fuck, dude? And I missed time it. Now I'm dead. I hate it when I miss time this transition. Well, that was a terrible attempt anyway. As a matter of instance, will you be updating some of your runs for the DLC? Um Probably not, because the, the DLC will give so many new options that it's unlikely that I will go back to old ideas. So, it's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. Of course. Great. Oh! Ah, damn it, I slapped the other one. Well, okay. I st I'm still going to focus on the Apostle. Okay, well that went well at least. Oh, I don't even have enough FP for for, uh, for uh, Golden Vow. Okay, summon. So I think that was the point I was trying to make. Fuck. What the fuck is this? Come 
Come on. I'm running out of time uh, like this. Yeah, see? Fuck me! I'm running out of sleep pods this way. Huh? That was no jump attack! What the fuck was that? Huh? I lock on to the noble? Nah, come on. Why am I taking so Sucks. I can't even. <sighs> Just die. What the fuck is even going on? I can hardly even uh Sometimes I hardly can even understand what the fuck is happening. You should respect your respect your FP in order to use that lightning incantation will be the best weapon. I used it once when I was having trouble with the best and it worked. I need way too much FP for that. That's not going to happen. I mean, I already cannot respect because what do I respect with? You need 34 faith to even use the, the spell. Okay, fuck. Yeah, but now I'm going to hit the noble, maybe. It didn't count, for whatever reason. I'm not behind him. Oh, I survived. I can't get the critical. Unbelievable. Who the hell thought that this fight was a good idea? Oh, the buff. And the noble wakes up.
problem is I already wasted one of his slip pods, but yeah. Okay, at least use Golden Vow. Now, come on. Come on! Okay, let's use the opportunity to buff then. Okay. Oh, what the hell? I got stuck in it. I got stuck in it. I actually got stuck in it. Yeah, I know, but that's... Uh, yeah, you already answered your own question, uh, Beauty Killer. Uh, that's going to take a shit ton of levels, uh, Chris Jones. Stance break physics. First of all, I don't have that, and that's only active for like 30 seconds or so. And Noble just wastes too much of your time. I mean, the Apostle already does that, so... It's just not gonna work. <laughs> Cloud storage console. Yeah, I could get them uh, to the mo uh, walking mausoleums, but that's like a few levels at best. Two or three. No, I suck at parrying the noble. It sucks that that one of those attempts was so close and then I suddenly got stuck uh, against the wall with uh, the noble stab attacks. Oh, whoops. Yeah, there's not really a way to get... Yeah, even if I get a few more levels, that doesn't even make much difference. I'm level 80. That's high enough, yeah, uh, you would say. I don't have battle talisman. Yeah, what would be a battle talisman? I can't really think of anything. The problem is when you get bad RNG, then you waste so much time and then... Uh the other one is going to uh, wake up way too early. I'll give five membership if you beat them. <laughs> well, I'm sure as hell trying. The winged sword tells me, yeah, but then I need to first go and get it. Okay, both of them? Okay, that's good at least. If I don't hit the noble at least, because that's quite a danger. Don't hit the noble, please. Fuck, the buffer ran out. Oh, really? Oh, he still hit me! Oh, but the buffer's active. And now the noble wakes up.
Wow. <laughs> Did not expect to <laughs> avoid taking damage there. The worst thing is I did expe expect to avoid taking all of that damage. Yeah, maybe go towards the healing tree first, yeah. But damn it, I got so close to defeating them. But yeah, maybe that's an idea, but uh, it's not that you're going to take that much more levels. And then we have to face off with Commander Niel. And that gotta suck as well. Okay, both of them. about to say no stand break what the fuck fuck go on kill her what the hell oh he's gonna wake up anyway <laughs> oh well it doesn't even matter Ooh. Oh, I don't have FP for the fucking sleep pod. Because that uses FP for some stupid reason. He still hit me. Get away from the noble, you dick. Oh, huh? Where the fuck is my dodging animation? What the fuck? Stance break. Okay, no stance break for whatever reason. How many sleep balls do I have? Six. Should I do it? Oh, it didn't even work. Oh, now the buff is gone. Oh, come on! Why wasn't he dead? Come on. Oh. <laughs> There's always some bullshit that happens at some point. 
that's why this fight always just sucks under all circumstances. Because inevitably some bullshit thing happens. It doesn't matter. At some point something bullshit will happen. Inevitably. Absolutely inevitably. Oh, and I wasted a sleep pod. Whoa. Holy crap. Oh, that looks cinematic. He landed on top of me. Why didn't he go over my hat? Huh? What's this? Where was the jump? There was no jump attack. There was no jump attack. You saw me jumping. There was no jump attack. What the fuck is even going on? Where the fuck was the jump attack? Oh. Like there was no jump attack. You saw me jumping, no jump attack. <sighs> and again, I'm out of... Yeah, jump attack on vacation. Yeah, I guess I could go to Commando Niel and Loretta and say, yeah, first, but it's, I don't think it's even gonna matter. Especially because I don't even know how to deal with Commando Niel. It's not even going to be beneficial, I guess. Also, I should still... Why the fuck is the gods can do even a fight in this game? Especially a mandatory one. I mean, you already have a similar fight in a cave. Why not simply have it only there, but not a mandatory fight? Well, I guess I'm also using sleep pods, but I don't have bewitching branches. I don't even know where to get them, actually. Again, I'm not on PC at the moment. Because of circumstances. You can get five from the merchant in Leonia. Which one? Not this one. I hate live streams. <laughs> then you're in the right. Uh, uh, you're not in the right location, uh, Qbert. You're definitely in the wrong location then. <laughs> Beard scratching ASMR. Wait, wait, hold on. Can you hear this? No, I don't think you can hear that. What did do what? So not this one? Oh, I think you mean this one here. Oh, you could hear that amazing bits.
Well, if I really want to sell out, I could uh, start an uh, Asian March uh, channel. No, also not. Oh, uh, he does. Yes, he does. He does. He does. He does. He does. Wow, these are expen <laughs> really expensive. Don't have that much to sell. Oh, hey. Four hundred more. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's, there it is again. Beard scratching ASMR. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> you can kill the gods can do it for the runes to buy them. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Also, um, I could go buy a buckler because I do know how to parry. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of weird because I don't know almost nothing about Commander Niall, but I do know you can parry him. <laughs> Let's save state again, yeah, I suppose. Uh, okay, well, I, I lit it already, so just kill me, that's fine. Would be nice to actually quickly defeat uh, this boss, so at least I've made some progress. I mean, we only have defeated Morgoth and the Fire Giant in this playthrough, in this uh, stream. And I'm already so... I somehow have to make this into a video before the 26th. <laughs> I, I, don't I don't even know how the fuck I'm going to do that. I probably won't even have time to use Golden Valentine, but okay, let's uh, save it again then. That's when uh, Stellar Blade. Uh, that's when Stellar Blade comes out. Oh, whoa! No, not download. Upload. No, I don't have the da dagger talisman that's behind uh, the god skin noble in the volcano manor. So, no, I don't. Also, I don't have a parry shield. <laughs> so, maybe for this fight I'm better off with a helmet, maybe. Tuck, f tuck it through, brother. brother. <laughs> the game with the jiggle fit, yeah. Uh, it really sucks that all the everyone uh, is talking about around that game is uh, that kind of uh, juvenile stuff, unfortunately. Which I think is a bit of a shame because that overshadows the actual things that make the game really interesting. I mean, again, I'm not a horny teenager anymore after all. First of all, I don't even understand so much why so specifically E from Stellar Blade is uh, supposed to be that extremely hard. But yeah, it's what it is. Ah, nice. So I can't even use Golden Vow. <laughs> Helpful. <laughs> Okay. 
Yes, it definitely is worth it, uh, Connor. I think that's going to be a really good game. I was very surprised by the demo, in fact, because it's much more... Uh, well, it's not really Sekiro-like, but it's uh, more... It is at least somewhat Sekiro-like, and I wasn't expecting that. Oh, fuck, whoa. Yeah, I guess more Lies of P than Sekiro is better, because it's not completely focused on parrying, it's just... It has a lot of focus on it. But not to, an, to a secure extent. Come on, do that one attack where I can backstab you. Huh? What the hell even happened? Okay, well, whatever. Oh! That the AoE is too large. Yeah, I know so little about this fight. I always skip it after all. Oh! And that cancelled my jump attack. Again! What? What's with the jump attacks? Oh. Huh? Why, <laughs> why are my jump attacks on vacation? As uh, someone put it. I legitimately don't understand what's happening there. I mean, this is a relatively new controller. So what the fuck is up with my jump attacks? I mean, now it's just working fine, but it was so weird. That has happened multiple times now. Why do we jump attack and I only jump? Huh, very weird. Yeah, so the main problem again in this fight is I have absolutely no clue what uh, Command on the L even does. Because I always skip this fight. So every time I do have to fight, am I I'm just improvising my way to, uh, through it. Oh, hey, hello! You're not supposed to attack me!
Oh, really? Why did that hit me? Hey, hello! What the fuck is that? What the hell, dude? By the way, I did I didn't even get a stance break after all of that. Oh, it's the other one. Oh yeah, it's a good point. He has more follow-ups than you think he would have. And that's definitely the case. Hey, I got a frostbite. Does that attack have a lingering hitbox or something? I think it does. This guy has a lot of poise, by the way. I just can't get a poise break. Fuck, I just don't I just don't know when he does what move. Mm hmm Stellarblade simply decide to use his possible hotness to gain attention. Yeah, maybe that's just <laughs> the way they market it. It's maybe just a marketing ploy. I guess it's a smart uh, smart move uh, business wise at least. This shoot allows to use foot weapons on the deal in the DLC. Yeah, I mean the heal. Uh, Nial literally drops a foot weapon, but then you use it with your hand. Bit of a shame. Yeah, that was me, uh, amazing Reddens. Oh, I'm out of uh, bewitching branches. Wow, I still have two, but maybe I just do it directly on Nial himself. Huh? They're not doing anything. Wait, that doesn't work? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well then uh, let's re just reset. I, I thought that would work, but apparently that doesn't. That's weird. Why doesn't that work on him? You can tell when he's going to do a frost slam by looking at the top of his halberd, getting out of the way, or it's a matter of... Hmm. At the top of his halberd. Okay, I didn't know that... Uh, you have to use it on the soldiers. I'm uh, getting close, uh, you're correct. At least on my end, I'm getting close to getting done. Console storage. No, no, this is the wrong one. Download. But I'm still not completely finished, so that sucks because that also means I have less time to work on this video. 
<laughs> so getting it finished before the 26th is probably going to be the most rushed video I've ever done. Or maybe I should actually use the katana. Maybe I can get charge the two attacks in. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, but. Uh, on PS4, you probably uh, you maybe have to do it with a USB or something. I don't know. I learned about that uh, that feature way too late, at least. <laughs> Hey, he's still attacking me. Yeah, he staggered me. Come on, lame. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> but he just wasn't doing the right attack. So I was like, yeah, I had to gamble. Yeah, you see, that doesn't work. It's too slow. But he has to do that shield attack where, uh, where you can get behind him. Otherwise, then it's not going to work. Bro's input reading, I <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. You know what, let's do the sh uh, maybe, oh, well, actually it doesn't even matter. I was like doing the shield guy first, but that's not even the point. <laughs> that didn't even hit. <laughs> Frozen Lightning Spear is a very peculiar hitbox, that's for sure. Or oh, hitboxes. Now oh, come on, do the do that shield attack thing. Okay. Whoa, hey! Damn, how the far the... Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, delicious. Fuck, I didn't know that final attack was coming. Oh, it's the wrong one.
crap. I never know when he does that AoE. He said something about the top of his helmet, but... Wow, and now he does some other type of follow-up. Ah, the wrong one again. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't know what the hell he does. He constantly has different follow-ups than I expect uh, that he would have. Well, and that's why you always just skip Nihal, because he's just worthless anyway. Uh, well, we haven't made exactly uh, that much progress, uh, little to deadly. We have defeated Morgoth, we have defeated the Fire Giant, and that's it. <laughs> I'm taking a break from the Godskin Duo now, because that's giving me <laughs> way too much trouble. Even with Sleep Pods. Hey, stance break, what the hell? Well, oh, thank you, Bandus Knight. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Fuck! Whoa, really? That hit me? What the hell? <laughs> why the hell did that hit me? That first one, the second one was obvious, but, but why the hell did that first one hit me? Oh my god, it was going way better than uh, all the previous attempts and then it just get fucked up. And I'm out of uh, bewitching branches again. <laughs> Fucking hell. You see, this is not battle, not even that much battle that the gods can do. <laughs> when you see wind around his helmet and foot, get away immediately. If <laughs> we do no damage, a little less, so we might as well start healing him. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> what, Fizz have any alternative? No, not really. 
I mean, unless you have an idea. Well, then we do you as well. Oh, huh? Wait, that didn't even work! What kind of bullshit was that? Well, it's not full power critical, but it's something at least. <laughs> well, that was re really weird. Okay, he's not even doing it. Are you going to do it? Yeah, he's not doing it. Why does he even smash his shield down then? That's better. I missed. Fuck delicious. <laughs> that just comes so out of nowhere. Oh, it still hit me! Now the wrong one. Fuck. Oh, I got lucky. Again! Ah! I was afraid of the other AoE. <laughs> Ooh! On the edge of the AoE. <laughs> Oh, another follow-up. And another one, by the way. Oh, finally. Ah, finally, we made some progress after Fire Giant. Oh. Haha. Oh, oh. oh my god. And that's why I always skip Commander Neil. Mm hmm.
Mm-hmm. Well, I guess my ice lightning was sort of absolutely in no conceivable way more powerful than his ice and lightning. <laughs> absolutely no conceivable way. Oh my god. Ugh. But we got through it. At least we got through it. This fight is fun, I think. Well, you think wrong, eh? <laughs> Radio. <laughs> you're allowed to have your opinion, but you're wrong. Your opinion is wrong. It's objectively wrong. You have a wrong opinion. Well, we have a little bit more health to work with for... Uh, FP. Uh, health is, I think, more important. Uh, when we go return against the Godskin duo. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, to be fair, Sneaky Bastard, I do have skill issues with this fight because I'm just so incredibly unfamiliar with it. Well, I guess that's what I get from always uh, skipping him. Once uh, you then have to fight him, you don't know how to do it. So you're basically shooting yourself in the foot. Appropriately, I suppose. Because now I have my artificial foot, after all. Which I can't use, even though it uses lightning, but no uh, frost. Which is the perfect opportunity. He does frost and lightning. Why not make this an ice lightning weapon? Oh, hey, Baton, thank you so much. Baton uh, gifted five membership. Thank you so much. You said you would do it for the for the gods can do, but you still did it. Hey, thank you so much, Baton. I appreciate that. Press, I don't think I've ever seen you fight Nial normally. I... Uh, I literally think that the only time I fought Nial under nor normal circumstances was in my blind playthrough. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> ah. Wow. Well, at least we made some progress, so that's something. But yeah, the veteran prosthesis is, uh, is a bit of a letdown of a weapon because they could have made that an ice lighting weapon. They had the perfect opportunity for it, and they just didn't. They just. Hey, by the way, I. Uh, is it this way? Yeah, this is. Uh, that's not here. The boiled prawn. Isn't boiled prawn like for defenses? Shouldn't I have used that at some point in this uh, playthrough? Never even consider that. To be honest, I never really do that. Congrats on the all great process for after four skin too. <laughs> you get the vessels next time, no worries, yeah. Fuck, I'm going in the wrong direction or something. Where am I? Exactly sneaky bastards. They have the animation for kicks and they don't do it. What a shame. Yeah, 15% less physical damage. I don't know how long it's active, but Bolt Prawn sounds like a pretty good, uh, a pretty good item. I never used it. Or oh, hardly ever used it. Ow. Yeah, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. 60 seconds, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's basically like the pirate hook from DS2, which is also pretty worthless, by the way. Yeah, it's somewhat helpful in uh, SL1 runs because it gives you dexterity, although it also takes away your adaptability. Yeah, it's getting pretty late, by the way, and it's a Sunday, so maybe the downstairs neighbors are going to complain. Well, at least quickly get this here. Quick, before the perfumer gets here. Okay. That's better. Okay, now you can talk freely. <laughs> if any devils like to give us food stuff, it would be Miyazaki. Exactly. Okay. I'm not 
gonna kill him. Come on. Well, let's at least get to the snowfield and uh, fight Sniper Wolf. Oh, wait. Wrong game. Oh, <laughs> I used the wrong medallion. Damn it, yeah, you can't do it from here, I think. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, you can't do it from here. <laughs> Waste secret medallion. I was thinking there are, there is at least one golden seed in the snowfield, but I'm pretty sure that I will not be able to get all of my uh, Estes before taking on the Godskins. Or can you? Because I would need five... Oh, I need four more. Might actually be possible. I know there's one, uh, there's at least one in the snowfields. Where are there two more? Ow. Hey. Yeah, if I could only buff my weapon with freezing grease, that would be uh, really good. Ice lightning plus an actual ice buff. In Mokum Palace, is there a golden seed? I'm not sure there is one, or is there? Could be. Uh, the map is around here, I think. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's none in the helix tree or uh, in the road towards the helix tree. Definitely not going to fight an ulcerated tree spirit, that's for sure. Ow. Because I'm also thinking, after the gods can do, where can you get golden seeds down? Because you also don't, uh, can't really get golden seeds down. Oh, pfft. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, <laughs> okay. A whole bunch of, of markers for no reason. Oh, yeah. You know, with 80% lightning resistance. Yeah, sure. <laughs> another another uh, type of enemy I never fight. <laughs> Specifically one with 80% lightning resi resistance. Well, we were actually taking a break from uh, from uh, them, Eric, Eric James. That's why we went to uh, Command on the L first. Hoping we could get some extra levels. Oh, but no, that one I always pick up, uh, Chris Jones. So, where is the Golden Seed here, then? It's somewhere around here, but... I think it's around the town here somewhere. Yeah, there's also th uh, three more sacred tears. That's also true. But where the fuck are those? <laughs> ah, there. But yeah, I still need three more golden seeds. And I have no... 
So is there a golden seat in Moquin's Palace? Because I just don't remember. I don't think there is one, right? I already got this one in Kaelid. This one here, this one at the bottom. I don't think there are any more golden seats over here. The foot of the route up to Altus. Oh, there is one in uh, Mogan's Palace, okay. Yeah, all of these, of course. We went out of a way to pick up this one. Is there another one in the snowfield? Not that I know of, at least. I'm not aware of any other in the snowfield. In Faramazula, is there a golden seat in Faramazula? Next to white tree. <laughs> white tree? <laughs> what, you mean this one? You mean over here? Okay, I didn't even know that. <laughs> More to the left. Oh, I suddenly cannot access the map anymore. Helpful. Oh, there are two in Foramazula. Oh, is, is the, isn't there one? Oh, no, there's a bell bearing. Well, the problem is I cannot access the map now. <laughs> Yeah, you say there are so many golden seas, but whenever I have to actually pick them up, <laughs> it's really difficult to get all of them. Especially Sacred Tears. I don't think I've... Uh, how many runs have I done that I actually got a plus 12 uh, flask that weren't on PC? I don't know what a phantom tree is, to be honest. Ghost tree? What the hell is a ghost tree? I'm not sure if I've ever even been in this location here. How the hell do you even get up there? Yeah, yeah, that, that one, we, uh, we went specifically out of our way to pick that one up. So uh, we already have that one. Oh, well, this is not... Uh, I'm going to fall over my death like this. How the hell do you even get up there? Yeah, but you guys keep saying ghost tree, but I don't know what a ghost tree is. This entire area doesn't even look familiar, to be honest. Oh, that's where, uh, where an Earth Tree avatar is. Um. Well, if there is a golden seat here, it's very well hidden because I don't see anything. You mean this with ghost trees? Okay, well, selfish, but the problem is I don't know what they mean by that, so that's a bit of an issue.
under a phantom tree in the valley northeast. Well, there's a minor earth tree there at least, so that's something. But it's just this thing. Well, I don't see any sort of golden seed here, so... Also, I've never picked up a golden seed here because I never go to this area, so... I don't know. I don't think that's correct. I don't see anything here. Like, who the hell even goes to this place to begin, begin with? Nah, I don't believe there's anything here. Go past the avatar. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to die from uh, that attack. <laughs> nah, there's nothing here. Oh yeah, that one I already had, of course. Nah. I don't believe for a second that there's a golden seed here. If there were, I would have already uh, found one. No. When you look at the, the map, it's... I can't look at the map right now. Yeah, it's weird. There is a golden, uh, there's a minor earth tree, but there is no golden seed there. When you look at the back, uh, down close to the lift where you came from, how is there a golden seed somewhere here? Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, no, exactly. Not as much. I don't think there is a second golden seed even in this area. But then again, where are the rest of the golden seeds? Bit to the right. Okay, let's stick right and let's see. Okay, the lantern doesn't really make a difference. Okay, well, didn't know what that was. Look for a big white tree. Everything is white here. <laughs> and I can't even access the map. That's also very helpful. Northeast. Uh, what? There, but where is a golden seed here then? Because I don't see anything here. And of course white tree doesn't really mean anything because everything here is white. So... The <laughs> Which tree that you find here is not white? Nah. 
I don't think there's anything here. Uh, Eric, what does that actually mean? I mean, we see those uh, weird ghost trees everywhere. So what is the ghost tree? Oh. We already got a run from uh, Kenneth Hyde. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> But then it would also have to be a golden seed that I've never ever picked up. It's a ghost turret tree. Sure. Hey, <laughs> another dragon kin. No, that's not good. Nah, I can't figure anything out here. Oh. <laughs> you always pick up that sea, but where then? Where do you pick it up? Where is it? Really? But then why am I always so many golden seeds uh, short, Connor? East. Yeah, east. I was east. I went through this entire area here. I went through this entire area, even here, and there's no golden seed anywhere. There's one close to the town here, but that's it. Other than that, I can't find any sort of golden seed. I think there's only one golden seed in the snowfield. Okay, let me check for extra. Oh, there is in fact one in Golden in Mogum Palace. So, okay. And two and from Azula, really? Also, I might not have picked what, that one up at the very beginning of the playthrough, uh, after the the Dragon Soldier, the first Dragon Soldiers Soldier in uh, Siofra. Huh? It doesn't even say anything about uh, the snowfield. Oh yeah, one photo. Oh yeah, it is somewhere to the right here, that's weird. Hold on, hold on, let me mark the map. This is what Faxal Life says, here. Okay, let's follow that uh, follow that thing then. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, I've never ever picked this one up then. <laughs> okay, good to know. Then we should go and check the one in Siofra River then, because I'm pretty sure I never picked that one up. Salvage, the whole reason we're doing it is because I'm not on PC this time, because I have P PC issues. That's the ghost tree. A ghost tree? No, that's a golden tree. That's a minor earth tree, like the mini uh, earth tree sprout or whatever it's called. One of those golden trees. That's not a phantom tree. I 
I suppose the ghost tree is just basically one of those <laughs> sea tr uh, transparent uh, trees that float in the air. But that doesn't really mean anything. Oh, that's also true. In Stormville, there's one uh, near where the ulcerated tree spirit there is. Or, or is now, no, it's from the ulcerated tree spirit, I think. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's another golden tree somewhere here as well. Yeah, there it is. Okay, one more. What would be an easy one to get? Yeah, in Stormville, I'm pretty sure that's from that illustrated tree spirit. So that's not gonna work. One more, one more. I'm pretty sure I already have uh, picked that one up, Radio. One. Just one. Just one. One, 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 one. Where is one single one? No, next to worm face is no... Uh, there's not a golden seed there. No, because that's from an ulcerated tree spirit radio. I'm pretty sure there's an easier one. Oh yeah, Mokum Palace. Oh, fuck. That's kind of out of the way. Now, Stormville is from the ulcerated tree spirit. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's another one in Siafra, so... The one in Faramazula, is that before or after Godskins? Dragon Temple. Now that's after the Godkins. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, Mogan Palace, but it's also a bit annoying. Damn it! This is not uh, uh, not a single one that can be found easily. Celia, yes, that's the one. Good point. You're right, in Celia. That's the one I should pick up. Can I jump into the roof there, up top there? Uh, probably not going to be able. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's let's see. Yeah, that works. But how how can I safely go down now? <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay, now I'm dead. Ah, the idea was good. The execution wasn't. Oh, hey, Steak of America. Helpful. <laughs> Calculated, exactly. Okay, here's the grace. Somewhere around here is... 
Oh, I think it's actually in the, in the town itself then, I think. Uh, fuck, where the hell is it? <laughs> it's high up, I think. There it is, I already see it. Okay, good. Okay, that's the final one. Alright! Jesus, motherfucker. Ah. Alright, we finally have all of our flask. <laughs> Not all of the sacred tears, unfortunately, but yeah. We have all of our flesh now. Okay. Ah, there we go. 14 flesh. It's 1 o'clock already. So I guess we'll just have to stop here. But at least we have all of our flesh. I don't know. Next stream is probably going to be on Thursday. Jesus, how the hell am I going to turn this into a video? Ah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, next stream will be on Thursday, and hopefully we can just finish the play for them. We have Loretta, Melania, we have Godskin, and yeah, there's all the end fights. Jesus, it's still a lot. That's still a lot. Especially if it, uh, the Godskins and Melania take uh, ages, so that's fucked up. <laughs> you you pretend like that's a, that's a lot of time, sneaky bastard. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I hardly have any time to begin with. Practically nothing. Tomorrow I have to still uh, work on, uh, record on the recording things to finish that uh, up. So <laughs> that's got to be a fucking nightmare. Well, we'll see what happens. Hey, at least we made some progress. Not a lot, but we made some progress. So that's good at least. Alright. So we call it quits here. And then on uh, Thursday... We're going to continue, and uh, well, if we don't finish, then Friday would we, uh, we're going to finish. Okay. So, yeah, the video is probably going to be rushed as fuck, but uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, thank you everyone very much for being here. I hope you all <laughs> enjoyed my suffering. <laughs> and there's probably a lot more to come when we return on uh, Thursday. So, hopefully, I will see you back in that day. <laughs> anyway, have a good night's sleep. Have a good rest of the week and see you on Thursday. Thank you for being here.